Good morning, everybody. Sorry for the rough start. This has taken some adaptations. <laughs> but I think I've got it pretty okay now. Um, For one thing, I still need to turn this down. I have it so damn low. It ain't even funny. <laughs> um, it's auto do everything. Oh, no. I'm guessing that's tech speed. <laughs> Let's take everything down to half. Because on my side, everything is super low. There we go. Now I can actually balance a bit better. What's max volume? Shit, that's too low. <laughs> the music in this game is so good, but man, have they given you the option to make it so loud. Uh, I was trying to adjust it while the stream started and then it started playing out loud. <laughs> so I had to just be like, well, it's a lose-lose. We do what we can but good morning everybody today we're playing an almost brand new game um i've been trying to get permission for this one since before it even came out i'm really excited that we're finally allowed to play it uh it came out like beginning of december it's called a date with death <laughs> if you look down in the description of the video you can see that i have a link to where you can play it for free on steam it's completely free for the main game you can also if you want to support um the game itself the devs you can go ahead and buy the DLC, which gets you some more customization options and one new ending. I did buy that just so we can see absolutely everything in the game, but you don't have to. You can enjoy the entire game for free. So feel free to check out that link if you want to. I'm not sure how far we'll get into this game. I think we can probably get one ending by the end of the stream. I think it said it's about two and a half hours long for the main story, so we should be able to do like one run through, but yeah. I can't guarantee that we'll come back in the future to do multiple run throughs. We'll see by the end of the game how much I like it. <laughs> but for not, for sure, if you want to experience like all of the game at your own like speed, making your own decisions, feel free to go ahead and get the game for yourself. It's just down there in the description. It's completely free. With that said, I'm excited for this one. This one is called A Date with Death. It's all about you literally trying to fuck death. <laughs> I mean less literal i guess it's more you're trying to riz death it's mainly a dating sim where you do like messages online so like online forum messages to each other can you guarantee our survival no i cannot <laughs> the bgm's still too loud food chan okay let me drop that there that should be decent now it's only halfway up the green bar but yeah, I've been excited for this one for a while. The design for death in this game is very sexy. Bright white hair, bright red eyes, a fucking winning combo. Long side ponytail, sexy as shit. <laughs> so I've been following this game for like a while before it actually came out. I'm really excited to play it. And I just saw the other day that actually um, the company who made this actually made a Yuri visual novel, which looks pretty good for me. Um, so a girl's love like mystery visual novel which sounds very interesting because it's got like the whole like you enter a mysterious mansion and there's a murder mystery going on. So I may be working on trying to get permissions to play that one in the future as well. It looks like a nice little horror filled love story. <laughs> we also play in that. We'll see in the future, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested. That one really caught my attention, mainly for the storyline, just because like I saw the character designs and I was like, sick. And then I read the thing and I was like, wait, Fatamoru, but... GL, I am so down. <laughs> so we'll see how that happens in the future. We'll see what goes on. But yeah, the fact that they let us play this one is awesome. And without further ado, I've wasted enough of you guys' time. I was also late to start today. I also only had like three hours of sleep yesterday. It's been painful. <laughs> but we're going to have fun, play this game, have a wonderful time, get distracted from anything else in the world, and try to fuck death. <laughs> so yeah let's dive into this and i'm going into the story completely blind all i know is that you are like messaging death and trying to one not die Ooh, animated intro i'm turning this up this sounds sick yeah you reap those souls you sexy man look at him oh god the fuckboy clothing, the sexy hair. Sitting at his computer all day. He just like me for real, for real. Yeah. You've always been a perfectly ordinary person. 
an ordinary person with an ordinary job and an ordinary apartment. That is, putting aside some of the strange occurrences that happen around you. Tell me if the music ever has to go down and up, by the way, I just had to turn that way down. Who hasn't been involved in a train crash, a house fire, a hurricane, and a parachute-related skydiving issue all in the span of a few months, after all? Oh shit, this man really wants us. Maybe he's already into us. He really wants to reap us. <laughs> You've always been this way. You found yourself in many unlucky situations, but come out unscathed every time. Friends and family have always called you lucky, but at this point, you don't even bat an eyelash at these occurrences. <laughs> I've always wondered when it comes to those kinds of people, like, do you consider them lucky or unlucky to get into those kinds of things? A piano falls from a six story building above you. <laughs> you simply step to the side. You trip on your shoelace and fall down a flight of stairs. <laughs> Not even a scratch. It's on one of these unusually ordinary days when you arrive home and look into your mirror. So this is, oh, here we go. What do you see? This is one of the things that I really liked about this game as well. For one thing, I love this art style. Look at this pretty person. God damn, they're gorgeous. Um, the art style is gorgeous and you get to customize your own character and your own bedroom. So that's the fun shit we get to start with first. We're so hot. We are, but we're going to change everything. Yo! Some muscles though! Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I look like. Huge chesticles. Very showing collarbones. Masculine as fuck neck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly how I feel in my life. Yo, this looks like something Alvin Yan. I'm pretty sure this is basically Alvin Yan's second outfit. Wait. It just needs some necklaces. Holy shit. Wait. Um, that's kind of sick. Alvin Yan should play this game. Whoa. Sexy fuck. I get to... I can be a maid. I think these are the DLC costumes right here because these are too freaking nice. Holy shit. Okay. One thing. Let's go super pale. Not that pale. One down from that pale. <laughs> oh, this one has red. Oh, I wish it ch changed the color at the top to red as well. The red shine is good. I got I got to go for the fuckboy outfit, right? Made? Okay, wait. Let's do everything except the outfit first. Let's go with... Oh, that's kind of nice as well. That looks like something... Oliver Sensei would wear. That pretty much is something. God, the fashion in this game is fantastic as it is. I really like that. That looks like... Other than like the fucking turtleneck, the, the, if this was just a jumper like this, that's exactly what I'm wearing right the fuck. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll put on this for now. It's it's not super good. I like that. God damn. We got some nice options here. Okay, but we're going to fix our hair. We're going to fix our, like, you know, physical appearance first, and then we're going to dress up. We're going to decide if the maid outfit, the fuckboy outfit, some of the things. Click the magnifying glass. Oh, it zooms out. Okay, yeah. Okay, first we're dealing with this, but yeah, we'll come back to the outfits. Thank you for that. That helps. Okay, let's find hair that suits us. Nice. We have front hair and back hair, so we can... Um, do they have my Karen haircut? Oh, shit. Almost. Wait, let's do the back. We need to make the back super fucking short. It's not on one side, but it's close. That That's more my hair, but I like this. <laughs> that This is more like the actual length of my hair, but this just looks so much sexier. Long at the front and side, short at the back. That's very school Leonhart. I think I'm going to keep... Oh, wait. I could just make myself whatever I want to be, actually. Yo. Okay, for one thing, let's change the color. Sorry, the fucking making this character is going to be the next 12 years of my life. Um. Oh, that's so sexy. That's a pretty damn good length. I like longer hair. Michelle from Fada Morgana. Oh, God. Oh, man. I am down bad and we haven't even met fucking death yet. Um. Um, too short. Not bad. They don't have any wavy, like, long hair. That's pretty good. That looks like it has a ponytail in the back, too. That, in fact... Shit, this is basically... <laughs> One second. 
What up, guys? I'm in the game. I just need some glasses. Where are my glasses at? I knew it. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, so we've got pretty much exactly my second outfit's hair. We can't quite do... Oh, damn it. If only they had one that was just slightly longer on the one side. This one's the best we could do. Oh, let's see this. No, it's too short. If only they had side hair as well. I know, like, some of the games... Where you can design yourself. You can have like side hair, front hair, and back hair. Oh, it's so close. Let's try this with the uh, medium. Can I make it just slightly longer? I mean, <laughs> this is basically my current look. Oh, God. But could I just make it slightly longer? Could I? You want me to? I'm leaving it like that. I like that. That's sexy. We're just... Hair's like halfway between... This look and archivist look. I'm just, I'm sexying myself up just a tiny bit. Okay, let me find my eyes. Let me make them grow. Ah, shit. Gray's not an option. Well, <laughs> blue or yellow, I guess. We're going to go yellow. <laughs> Those eyes are sexy as fuck. Aw, tiny little baby. Choose whichever you like. Hell yeah. I'm going to go with the long hair. I just, it's sexy as fuck. I don't have to look exactly like me. Aggressive eyes, yes. My eyebrows aren't that thick, though. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Some things I'll try to keep similar. Oh, I've just got slightly longer hair. It's fine. <laughs> Wait! It kind of looks like Chi Rong from Heaven Official's Blessing. <laughs> nah, nah. Let's not. Let's, let's go chill. Um... Damn, all these lips are fine as fuck. I don't smile so much, though. They don't have any, like, there we go. That has lipstick on it as well. <laughs> oh, shit. My lips are nowhere near this full. That'll have to do. That's the best. <laughs> Very kissable. Yeah, there's so many sexy options here. But I don't think any of them really suit. Nah, 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 nah. Go, go back. Put it back. Nah. Can't. Doesn't feel right. I want a bit more of a prominent now. I guess that's me. Okay, freckles and blush. Ooh, moles. Oh, God, you can have all of them. <laughs> I was just clicking things like, surely it'll replace. No, I can put moles and freckles everywhere. That's kind of sick. I'm not going to, but I could. I like that there's an option. Make it kissable. I'm already kissable, damn it. Wait, I need thicker glasses, man. We don't have thicker glasses, do we? No. Can I combine things on here? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm so tempted to make the arc of it. <laughs> they have all the parts I would need, but I think I'd get in trouble. <laughs> let's, let's not. Let's. <laughs> okay, let's decide on the outfit instead. I'll just, yeah, I'll just give them dog tags. Um, okay. I really like this. Oh, fuck me. Look at him. <laughs> Look at the freaking gloves. What does this do? Oh, fuck that random. I have to redo everything. <laughs> fuck my life. I uh, didn't realize that was a randomized button. Oh, why don't we have like an undo? Mm, fuck it. I'm doing a poll. There's good value for each one. Start a poll. Long hair. A hair that looks like me. You go for it. Uh, yeah. I, by lo hair that looks like me, I mean this one. This length currently that I have on. Long hair, don't care. I just, bleh, it matters to me, damn it. <laughs> Both look good. That's the thing. Oh, man. Hair was fuck. Thin eyebrows. I don't like those eyes. Go back to the sexy eyes. Thank you. A hint of a smile isn't too bad, but I prefer, yeah. Um, tiny nose. No freckles. Good glasses. Oh, yeah, it kept strange. This is very Ken coded as well. <laughs> I'm just Ken. What would the flower do? Oh, it goes somewhere you can't see it. That's unfortunate. Could have an eye patch and be tuny. <laughs> I could go very alternative. I could have, like, so many fucking piercings. Boop, boop, boop. 
fuck me. Okay, I promise I won't waste too much time. We're, we're on our way back. The poll is just polling right now. Okay. For clothing, I think I'm going to go for this one. But I'll let you guys spam in chat if you want the other one. Long hair? Okay. People have spoken. Long hair. Um, um, um. Yeah, that's sexier anyway. I don't want to say it. God, I know too many things that I'm not allowed to speak about. Um, okay, with that said, I like this outfit. Outfit. Fuckboy, chuny, angsty. It looks like I am trying to be a death god myself. I know you guys were talking about this one. <laughs> Still cute. Still cute. Eyebrows. Oh shit, I didn't change the color. Thank you. My eyebrows, despite my hair being white, are black. <laughs> Although everybody draws them gray. But no, they're actually black. Um, all of these outfits are sexy. I kind of just like that simplicity of that. This is incredibly Ken coded. This is incredibly cute. Fuck, that's incredibly cute. This looks like an Alban outfit. To the little Tucker Adachi coming out of the pocket. Oh, eye colors? Yeah, I can't. Oh, they're, ch they're both different. Um, I can't do much about that. I, the closest to my actual eyes are like, I get a choice between yellow and blue. Blue is way too vibrant. <laughs> yellow is way too vibrant. So yeah, I mean. Uh, I, I'm just going to go with yellow. It's close-ish and it looks good. I do like red eyes, but then I'd be too much like death. No, let's go yellow. Yellow looks closer. I thought yellow looked closer. Okay. What do you guys think for the... I'm going to give you guys... I don't really want to be the maid. <laughs> I could do this one, though. I would... Okay, I'm going to give you the option between pink and death. Yeah, I'm going to give you those two options. <sighs> I'll add maid. I'll add maid, but it... <laughs> Fuck. No, I won't add maid. No, fuck it. No, you guys don't get everything you want in life. <laughs> Death or pink. Those are the choices. <laughs> I like both. Maid. That's cute, but I'm not feeling it. I don't think I'll be able to riz death like that. This is something you wear like for the bedroom. I'd imagine. Well, for me, this is something I'd bring into the bedroom. It's not something I wear on like a daily occurrence. This is something that has to be requested and talked about in an adult situation with consent from everybody. Turtleneck, though. The turtleneck is nice, but it's nowhere near as sexy as this. Jesus. And this is just adorable. But it is... Oh, God. So many of these are so Alvin Yan coded. Like, for real. I could see him wearing, like, pretty much every one of these options. This is something I would wear. These are all something I would wear. Particularly the red and green. And black, I guess. I don't like many of these color combos, but the brown on gray is really nice. This I wouldn't wear too much for me. <laughs> too much attract. That would attract too much attention. The bright pink, even though it would attract too much attention, like it's got the belts. It's got like the little like tidy vest. I like it. But yeah, okay. Death one. Fantastic. That's what we're going with then. I like the brown so much. Honestly, like I said, not quite Dark Academia. It's most of the way there. It's sexy as fuck. And yeah, even... <laughs> no, shut up, Fucha. Shut the fuck up, Fucha. <laughs> Saying too many things that are coming too close. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Masculine leaning, he, him, male. Uh, do I get to name myself? No? Oh, boy. oh, there we go. First name. Fulga. Do it, no balls. No. We'll see in a couple of months. Give it time. <laughs> I could have very easily made it a video out of this as well. This has a nice character creator. Favorite animal? Well, I don't have wolf, so I'll go dog. Dog is great too. Fluffy cat. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Those are nice options though. Okay, is that everything? Yes. Olga Ovid. Male, he, him, masculine meaning. Vitalize. Sexy. Oh! <gasps> You could save your photo too. God, I love this game. Click here to input your character bio. Man, I just can't escape death. Dude is obsessed with me. 
every day. He's chasing after my ass. Like some pining lover. And I have to ask myself. Can't I do better? I know he's an immortal concept beyond the limit of human understanding. But I'm Fuchan. Let's see if he is fine enough to clap these cheeks or vice versa. I'm flexible and wait, no, I'm versatile and flexible. T -t head all. There we go. Wait, no, winky face. <laughs> okay, that's my profile. <laughs> Man, I just can't escape death. Who does obsess with me? Every day he's chasing after my ass like some pining lover, and I have to ask myself, can't I do better? I know he's an immortal concept beyond the limit of human understanding, but I'm Fuchan. Let's see if he's fine enough to clap these cheeks, or vice versa. I'm versatile and flexible. Is he better? Damn good. <laughs> AO3 writer. Look, man. <laughs> Until more Shang Tong Shu brings out her novel about a death god, this is the closest I'm getting. I'm going to riz the shit out of death. I'm going to make him chase after me. We'll see if he's worthy of my... He clearly already is. This dude has been almost dying every day of his life. Okay. Also, if you've already played this game, feel free. I, I, I kind of want to see what kind of characters you created. Or if you want to make like a video, if you want to think about what like an archivist would look like, uh, feel free to drop them in hashtag Folger over here, my live tag. I'd like to see those. Oh, and I can design my bedroom. Oh God, this is the next hour of the game. Polaroid set. This just what is, wait, does it have to have a letter? No, oh, I don't have many memories. <laughs> oh, I definitely don't do that. Fairy lights. I mean, this shit's adorable, but it's not me. <laughs> I'll put up the tasteful images and I'll put up like a couple of photos. This big one's knock dicks. Um, this one might be like a group photo of everyone from EN. No, no, no. This one, no, this one will be like a picture of me and dog. No cats in sight. That, th those were the good times before I got cats. And then, yeah, all of Niji Sanji EN. Plant lover! That's what I'm talking. Oh, it just, well, that's fine. <gasps> then I don't need these. I've got enough in there photos. <laughs> How many can I? Oh, fuck. Yes, that's more like it. Posters. What do we got? Uh, no, go back. Go back. I've made a horrible mistake. There we go. Um, <laughs> I kind of like the idea of having a conspiracy board. <laughs> Just being like, I solved it. <laughs> I've connected the dots. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just me sitting here. Uh, being like, hey, hey, wait a minute. There's point left. I've connected the dots. Death is always coming after me, but it must be because he loves me. It's not because I'm the most unlucky person in the world. See? See? <laughs> okay, what else have we got? Good night. Everybody needs a good night. I got a dog! It's a small dog, but it's a cute dog. I didn't even notice the dog. Neat set. Books! Fuck. Um. Books above the bed. Bad because they'll bang it. Oh, wait. That one has lotion. No, we're keeping that one. That one has like lotion and lube. Yeah, okay. No, we'll switch back to the other plants. We've got enough books above our bed. Perfect. Perfect. We need the lotion. Okay. Wall color. Black. Like my soul. Pink's kind of adorable. Black. Um, desk decor. Well, we can have more plants. 
single plant and some riding supplies is pretty good too. But that has riding supplies and more plants. Woo. Yeah, we'll go with that. Lots of plants. Bed color. Why don't we have black? Or red. You're killing me here. <laughs> you're killing, I guess I'll go. Fuck yeah, I'm fine with pink. <laughs> okay, I guess that's all we can do. Not bad. First chance at death. You created your first main character. Pink is closest to red. Hell yeah. I like that you don't even get... Oh, is it because I chose my favorite animal? I chose my favorite animal as a dog. If I had chosen a bunny or a cat, I'm guessing they would have been on the bed. Pink is so you. I mean, it matches my shirt. Matches my eyes. Why not? Oh. Oh, I can click on things. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what do I do? Renovate an appearance. Okay, so I can change that whenever I want to as well. My bed. My pet. Definitely. There's no question. Dog two. Yep. Gender male. I I can't with female dogs. <laughs> Dog two. Welcome to the family. Dog two! Awesome. Your bed. Can I edit my bed? Door. Laptop. Change music. This is fine. Some lo-fi. Bookshelf! Take a new book to read? Fuck yeah. The world was empty. Life was gone. The soul whisperer wandered now and forever. For an eternity, their footsteps echoed through the empty streets and desolate ruins. Not even a soul remained to guide to their final rest of pace. And so the soul whisperer was alone. Such was their fate. The fate of one bound to both life and death without possessing either. They walked through a crumbling city, looking in on the remains of a civilization lost to time. Had it been a hundred years? Or a thousand? Seconds merged into minutes, hours into days, months into years. And for once, they wondered when their wandering would come to an end. I like that line. <laughs> their soul was bound to the very world, fated to walk it until the very land itself ceased to exist. Something caught their eye. A soul unlike any other, as black as night with a thousand silvery stars glittering and flowing like a river within its dark folds. That's beautiful imagery as well. The soul whisperer approached it, and in turn it sang them a song. A voiceless song filled with wonder and awe. For a moment the soul whisperer was lost in the rhythm of the universe, caught up in the symphony of the cosmos. But soon enough the song came to an end, and the soul whisperer finally felt something they didn't know was possible. Fear. Fear of the loneliness that came with guiding the world's final soul to their resting place. It only took a moment for their soul to disappear, leaving behind a sea of glittering stars in the wanderer's wake. The world was empty. Life was gone. But the soul whisperer remained an eternal wanderer, forever seeking the lost souls of the world that were already long gone. Well, that's angsty as shit. <laughs> it's well written. I'll give it that. Um, it's definitely one of those things that like somebody would write when they're in like their tuny 17 to 21 kind of phase where it's like, oh, I existed for an eternity. Everybody's already dead. Everybody's left me and I will go on eternal, unaging. I like it. Filled with angst. But it's beautiful. Exactly. And especially the fact that he fell in love with the final soul. The final soul sang him a song, gave him some light at the end, and then they were gone too. And he was along. He was alone forever. Okay. Can I play with dog too? Yeah! My little baby, interact with your favorite furry or otherwise pet. Yeah! Check on dog too. Dog too is resting on your bed. Tongue wagging. You give them a belly rub. He loves belly rubs. Yeah, they all do. What a good boy. A ding comes from your laptop. Fuck you, death. I'm busy with my dog. You take a look at what you expected to be an email. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a strange app you've never seen before. You look at it for a moment before hitting the X in the corner of the program. I guess I'll just ignore it for now. I'll deal with it later. I mean, these are the same thing, basically. I procrastinate, but I'll do it in the more angsty way. Now, I'll give, give Doggo a treat. You give Dog2 a little treat. He gobbles it up easily. 
Who's a good boy? Oh, you're a good boy. A second ding echoes through the room. Worried, you look back to your laptop screen. The app is once again open and flashing on your hotbar. You wonder for a moment if you'd somehow picked up some malware. Delete the app or ignore it? Let's ignore it for a bit more. I'll come back to that, but first... Check on dog too. You doing good? He's good. Still gave him a belly rub. The dings are coming much more frequently now. Someone or something wants your attention. You're not worried now. You're angry. The dinging is starting to annoy you. For a moment, you contemplate throwing your laptop out of the window, but calm before you possibly commit a crime by dropping a laptop from the fifth story of a building and knocking someone out. <laughs> okay, one minute. I want to check if I can change my bed. Your comfortable bed. It's seen you through many a night's sleep. You're not that tired yet, though. You can't help but recall the day you bought this bed. It was your first piece of furniture you bought for yourself. Not only was it bi too big to fit up the narrow stairwell, you got it wedged halfway up. You thought you were going to have a sleep there from that on, <laughs> but eventually it came free, and then you stepped on a loose floorboard and nearly plummeted down a few flights of stairs. <laughs> Whoops. It's certainly an experience you'll never forget, at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm so close to dying at all fucking times. <laughs> Death is clinging. Yeah, he is. Death said, where are you taking that bed? Whore. You're going to take it to some other man that isn't me? Slut. I'm going to take you right now. <laughs> The dinging is constant. You don't know how much longer you can put up with the sound. Perhaps it's time to check what's going on here. Um, no. I've got another bookshelf. <laughs> Death, you can wait. You, you, okay, no, I'm out of things. I could just leave the room. <laughs> the door leads out to the hallway beyond. Your apartment is on the fifth floor of a downtown apartment building. There's no way you want to go at the moment, but you overhear some talking on the other side in the hall beyond. You don't know your neighbors very well yet. Perhaps now's a good time to learn more about them. Hell yeah, I love eavesdropping. No, I don't. I hate having tiny apartments like that where you can hear shit. <laughs> That's actually freaking horrible. When you can hear what's going on next door and it's like, I don't want to know that much about your fucking life. God damn it. You put your ear to the door, straining through the wood to hear the words being spoken beyond. You hear the sound of someone knocking and the door opening. Sorry to disturb you. I just moved in down the hall and I had a package meant for you delivered to my apartment. A deep, rich voice. Fuck. Phones through the door. Let me fix that. Fuck. I went. Sorry to disturb you. I just moved in next door and I had a, a package delivered to my apartment. Oh my gosh. I thought the package got lost. I really can't thank you enough. The other voice responds, light and somewhat airy. Well, it gave me a chance to introduce myself to you. So I'd call it good luck on my part. Yeah, all yours. Thanks again. Um. The voice trails off. Oh, my apologies. My name is... The voice is muffled for a moment as the elevator dings and you miss the next few words. Your humble servant. The fuck? Are they good? <laughs> They immediately introduced themselves as your humble servant? That's... Damn. The second voice laughs. <laughs> oh shit, this is the other one. I feel like I owe you something for having to bring that heavy box all the way here. Oh, the humble servant was the deep voice because they brought the box. God damn it. I would hardly call one flight of stairs all the way over, but I wouldn't turn down a coffee. The deeper voice replies. Ah. How about tomorrow? Man, F fuck. I'm playing this dating sim and other people are getting laid. <laughs> it's a date. Wait, it's a date. I mean, not really, but see you tomorrow. See you. You hear the door close and the sound of footsteps walking away from the door. And then silence. Before you hear the sounds of pottery falling then shattering onto the ground. The door opens again. The deep voice speaks first. I, uh, didn't see your plant there. Coffee's on me. <laughs> Fuck. It's becoming a real meat cute. What the shit, though? You hear the second voice giggle, then speak. It's all right. I've been meaning to get a new pot for ages. Let me at least help cleaning it up. It's really no trouble. I insist. I was the clumsy one. All right. 
Let me get the broom. My man just invited himself into the apartment. He said, screw, waiting till tomorrow. <laughs> the voice has become muffled and silent. That seems to be all the information you'll get for the day. Wow, this is my new favorite teledrama. Fuck off, death. I'm busy. The dinging is constant. You don't know how much longer you can put up with the sound. Perhaps it's time to check what's going on here. I've done everything else. It's fine. C come on then, death. Dealing with the other love story. There's a B plot coming on. They have better is. I haven't even started yet. Give me a luta. <laughs> That's it, you think. You're going to commit a very bad act to this laptop of yours. <laughs> don't talk about my search history. You don't know what I'm up to. <laughs> You've halfway opened your window when you come to your senses and close the app once more. You quickly delete it from your desktop and empty your trash can. But two moments later, later, it reappears exactly where it was before and opens again. You think about the sketchy sites you've been on, but even that's hard to concentrate on past the constant dinging. You attempt to delete it again, but it won't delete anymore. Well, let's keep trying. We'll get rid of it. No malware on my ship. Foo? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing happens. Try again, but angrier. <laughs> Nothing continues to happen. Great. I guess I've got a virus. Stare the app down or click on the app. Well, we might as well just like, yeah, let's just go. We can't run away from death. Death catches us all. This, this is the problem. We click on the app, finally taking a good look at it. It's some kind of chat room. It looks somewhat retro. I love this song. I, I was bobbing my head along to this for like half an hour before we started stream today. <laughs> Yo. <clears throat> okay, what voice should I give death? Oh, <gasps> I can't not kiss him. I want to read the BL manga. Sorry. Um, um. God, I want to give him angsty, but not one of my usual voices. Foolish more. Let's go. Should we just go full tuny for him or sexy? Foolish mortal, you shall evade me no more. I've had enough of you fiddling around in your room and ignoring me. I have come to reap your soul. That's far more important. Hand it over willingly, for I am not here to play games. Answer me at once. Hello? I see you wish to ignore my demands. Foolish. Incredibly foolish. P please respond. Does it not work after all? Well, this is quite embarrassing. Testing. Testing one, two, three. Hello? Testing. Fuck me. Is that an offer? <laughs> Shit, that would be my response. This is like, well, crazy. <laughs> Hello to you too. Delete the app. <laughs> what is this app? Yo, I want to play this game though. We are fucking under attack. I don't know where the comma goes. That either means we're seriously under attack or they're fucking... Well, they really should be defending their citadel. Fuck, it's gone. Whoops, he burnt down your house. Leave or revenge? What kind of revenge? <laughs> he kind of... Shit, he's got my white hair and yellow eye. Oh, shit. It opens other video games. <laughs> um... It opened up a Steam store page. What the sh... That's kind of sick. Um... Okay. It's advertisements for their own games. That's sick as fuck. <laughs> I didn't know these were other things they've already done. Oh, that's sick. Anyway, sorry. Um... Grim Reaper testing, testing. Baby Dare on an adventure. Witch, magic... In stories that kind of look like Millie. Go away, don't message me. Slug to you. Too <laughs> cute. Okay, what does this one do? Hello? This one brought up a Twitter page for RJ Fern. The Last Rose and Apocalypse Adventure visual novel. So another game maker. Sick. I wonder if they work for two and a half studios. Uh, sorry. Um, oh, damn it. This game is well thought out. Inbuilt advertisements. Okay, let's do this. Is that an offer? Is that an offer? Soul number 8129. Man, I don't even have a funny number. Grim Reaper. An offer? An offer for what? Uh, if you don't get it, don't worry about it. 
it off for what you said. <laughs> nah, if they don't jump on that, it gets weird. Just be like, eh, it's all good, kid. Don't, don't worry. Death still doesn't understand sex. We need to have the birds and the bees talk. Tell me at once. Well, what, bitch? What are you going to do about it? Reap me? You've tried. Or... Or... Or I shall take your soul at once. Why does he fucking capitalize every word when he's being angsty? Either do all caps for shouting or... Oh, bro. Bro. <laughs> Isn't that what you threatened me with anyway? He's such a fucking boy failure. <gasps> Slay the princess! Do you love me? I did love you. You were such an incredible game. Level one princess, level two. Oh, this is so cute. They're, they're genuinely supporting all kinds of other indie devs. That's adorable. Um, seriously, is this a virus or something? Y you gonna respond? I can go to other messages, you know. Fuck you. I'm gonna go talk to the witch. What are you up to, Mills? Mildred? No, apparently I can't. Oh, fine. I'll stay with him for now. A virus? No. Do not be absurd. This is an application that I've created. Huh? Oh, shit. He's an app dev. That's never good. <laughs> the town missed ya. Hey, glad to be here. Four? Hope you're gonna enjoy the stream today. <laughs> Messaging you. Oh. He's that into us. Why? That he lives in Silicon Valley. I don't even know who you are. And with how fine I am, <laughs> I, I can do whatever I want. It's a little strange to message a random guy out of nowhere. Wait, are you a bot? <laughs> yeah, random guy. Let's go with that one. Let's make him admit that I'm not some random guy. I'm, you're not some random guy. I've been following you for years. There we go. <laughs> Random? There's no element of randomness at play here. You are not some random guy. You're a very specific guy. Do not tell your wife about this. Oh shit, now I'm curious. Fuck, that one's broken. I can't get to it. It's some sort of Steam game. It says I have to be logged in. <laughs> okay, getting creepier, bud. Explain yourself, Grim Reaper. Do I know you from somewhere then? Fuchan? Are you, you, you think I'm not gonna click the ad? It made me interested. You look kinda cool. <laughs> I told you, I have come to reap your soul. Yeah, you said that once or twice. You need to make more sense though, my boy. <laughs> click it. I did, it didn't open anything properly. Yeah, I don't like that tiny one at the bottom. Is this a call for help? I'm actually starting to feel sorry for you. <laughs> yeah, this isn't working out. This is getting embarrassing. Ah, oh, I thought you were so sexy when I saw you. I didn't know you were this kind of character. <laughs> Do not belittle me. I am coming for what is owed to me. That is all. It would do you well not to get in my way. I don't owe you anything. Like, I don't even know you, my dude. He's losing points. Yeah, he's... He's cute, but... <laughs> Oh, God, he needs to work harder. You do. You just do not know it. It's my job to know it for you. There's no need to be afraid. It is a natural process. Okay, now it's starting to sound kind of cultish or creepy. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. Yep, shivering in my boots. Really? Ha, <laughs> good. Your instincts serve you well. Yep, really, really scared at the moment. <laughs> Terrified, my baby boy. Let's do the cat mouth. <laughs> you will not mess with me any longer when you find out my true form. Yo, are we getting a dick pic? You will cower in fear. You will beg me to release you. Uh-huh. Sure, I will. He's so tuny. <laughs> I feel like I'm messaging P.O. Chan. <laughs> and this true form is... Come on, hit me with it. I am the Grim Reaper. And I have come to claim your soul. Right. Right. 
Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> oh my god. Is this how PO texts? Honestly? Sometimes. Sometimes he's like very respectful and businessy. The rest of the time it's exactly like this. If he's inviting you to a collab or just chilling, it's it's like this. <laughs> cool. Very normal. Very normal, bruh. Totally reasonable thing to say to someone. I'm not gonna lie, not the weirdest scam someone's tried to me. I just I just, just, just keep teasing him. This works for me. The T stands for death. <laughs> you make it sound unreasonable. Why? Um. Maybe because it is? Death doesn't, you know, have a messenger app. I don't give my soul to just anyone, you know. Yeah, you gotta work for it. You gotta whine and die in me. You gotta give me a reason. Single assassins in your area. Fortunately, I am not just anyone. I am the Grim Reaper. Pulling the soul from your body and leaving you an empty husk is literally in my job description. Oh shit, I had that job description once too. It's called being a lawyer. But, um, tsh, wait, do I still have the... I don't think I do. There we go. <laughs> really? You were a Grim Reaper? Nah, I just worked retail. Okay, that works too. <laughs> shit. Oh, god damn it. Death doesn't get paid though. It's still a job. Just because you don't get paid. Retail, he's so correct. Yeah. Retail would be painful. <laughs> oh, I hadn't realized mortals also dealt in souls. That's beside the point. Your soul, will you hand it over? Why do these... Oh, are these the special options I got for DLC? I have to ask, is this a role play? It's one of those scams. Are you okay? I would go with that one. But since this one has a star, of course. It's all yours. Let's go for it. Should we save? Never. I think this might be a bad ending though. <laughs> Finally, I've waited long enough. Honestly, I should have contacted you sooner if it was going to be this easy. Bro, it ain't going to happen. I'll email it to you. What's your email? I'm going to get their email. I'm going to log them, in, log them in for so many spam newsletters. Huh? Souls cannot be transferred digitally. You sure about that? Maybe you just have an outdated process. You have an app for this. Why do you not? Yes. I am certain. But have you ever tried, though? <laughs> it might make your job easier. Then you could have more time to chill at home. Read books. Find more interesting. <laughs> uh, yo, let's go. I bet that's a real email. No. Reaper.org. It can't be real. Be funny, though. The Grim Reaper 123 ABC. He fucked up that bad. <laughs> he fucked up that bad that he was that late to get the Grim Reaper email address. <laughs> Dumbass. God, I'm going to sign you up to so many porn web pages. What? What is so funny? Your email. It's stupid, bro. <laughs> is death all right? No, death is not all right. Death needs a friend. It's a normal email. Sure. Bruh, I don't think you even know how to use email. Okay, I just emailed my soul over. We're gonna do the whole like check your spam filter thing, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Fuck me. I do not see it in my inbox. Ooh. Die painfully or die stinky? Don't mind if I do. One way, a horror game with cute anime girls. I'm bookmarking this one for later. <laughs> um, one second. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Bookmark added. It's a game called One Way. Looks sexy. Sorry. Back to the game. <laughs> Maybe you're having internet issues. You definitely have to check your spam filter. That'll always get you. Futan. <laughs> Come on, man. I had to. Look at her. She's sexy. <laughs> Maybe... You're having internet issues? Restart your computer? Come on, tell him to check his spam filter. That's the one I always hate. If I was having internet issues, then why can I still message you? I believe you're attempting to trick me. <laughs> He's so cute. 
What gave me away? Was it the fucking cat smiley face earlier? So it is a trick. <laughs> Honestly, I was just having fun, bro. We're just vibings. I don't usually respond to spam messages like this. I do. Anytime I get like one of those calls where it's obviously from a call center, especially one of the, like the, 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 the one, the scam ones where you get somebody being like, hello there, is this? Like they don't actually, they never say your name. They just like, hello there. We're from the IRS. We believe you have an unpaid blah, 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 blah. I'm always like, oh, oh no, you found me. Oh, that's terrible. I'll, I'll pay it. I swear I have the money. C can you give me the address? Shit like that. Just keep leading them down some shit. And eventually get to the point where it's like, oh, by the way, how, how did you find me? What the fuck is my name? What is my social security number? Where do I live? Tell me these things. <laughs> Spam text could lead to opportunities. Uh, it's just an opportunity to fuck with the scammers more than anything. <laughs> just play along for a little bit like you're scared. Even better, you do like an old man voice and they think they're hitting gold. You're like, hello, IRS. Oh God. I'm sorry. I the electronic mail that I set up it must not be working. I I I tried to pay all my bills. Um, please tell me what I have to do to fix it, sir. They think they're getting a huge fucking payday, and then you just switch to a normal voice at the end of the call, like, "Fuck you, you disgusting scum." Anyway, I don't usually respond. To this. Sorry, we're not even playing this game right now. I'm just chatting. Now I'm thinking I should. Yeah, this Grim Reaper's been kind of cute. Anyway, do you seriously think you're the Grim Reaper? Can we change up the speed of this? Let me see. Auto. Oh, shit, it's not auto. I'll put that up to max. Maybe that'll... Uh, I think that's all that we've got. Okay. And let's save, because why not? Boop. Okay. Excuse me? Yes. It's funny, at least. It's kind of cringe. Never tell someone they're cringe. Let them have their own fun. It's a little cute. It is a little cute. Wait. I'm the Grim Reader. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> if you click, it goes for... Oh. Oh, that's going to help me so much. Thank you so much. Um. No, you aren't. Are you trying to steal my job? That's super not cool. You are not a Grim Weeper. I am the Grim Reaper. You are not. I know each and every Grim Reaper in this plane and beyond. You're not one of them. Okay, so now I know there's multiple Grim Reapers. Fantastic. I'm getting information. This is what we do. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. If you are truly a Grim Reaper, then tell me the first rule of taking a soul. Face down, ass up. First rule of Grim Reaper Club. Don't talk about Grim Reaper Club. <laughs> That's Fight Club, bro. Two, make sure they didn't leave the oven on. If they win in rock, paper, scissors, they get a free pass. Shit, I'm going with number one. That, that's good. <laughs> no, no, no. You have absolutely no clue. The first rule is ensure a peaceful passage. Why the fuck have you been trying to kill me with like pianos falling on me and broken floorboards and shit wait is there gonna be a twist in this game where i think i'm rizzing him and then it's gonna turn out he literally like he we get together we have a loving relationship and then he's like you die for me right like is he just trying to get me to die in a happy way is he gonna take me to bed and then when i'm really really close to finishing i'm like Oh, I feel so good. I could die. And he's like, you know what? Hold that thought. I'd hold that thought. You have absolutely no clue. The first rule is ensure a peaceful passage. The ad. I know it's sexy as fuck. You know what? Let me see this one. These are all 18 plus. It won't let me see them. Fuck you, game. <laughs> fine. I'll access my Steam God to get into this. Um. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Give, give, give it access. That's fine. Oh my god. Do it. I'm scared. Fuck. Okay. No, it doesn't work. Damn it. Why did I even back up my steam? 
Never get to see the sexy cat boys in my area. Ah! No unnecessary suffering or fear should accompany the transition. How reasonable of you. That's boring. Cause a little pain, why don't you? Yeah. What if they request a little pain? Sometimes that'll ease the transition. Sometimes that's what moves things along. You're a funny little Grim Reaper. Lol. <laughs> God damn it. You? I, you know what? Every time I do him from now on. Perfect. Now I'm in character. <laughs> you. You mock my title now. <laughs> It's, well, a little embarrassing. It's less mocking, more like teasing. Yes, that one. Is there anyone who wouldn't? Yeah, sorry. No, I'm going with that one. Light teasing? Fuck yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Quick question. Do you walk around being like, I am death in real life too? What? Bow down to me. Your soul is mine. I am the Grim Reaper. Death and darkness. <laughs> Both are good. Neither one are really very different. You do, don't you? <laughs> Fucking Judy. <laughs> oh, the ellipses. Stun silence. <laughs> is your hair as dark as night? Do you hide behind long bangs? Wait a minute. <laughs> you give off dresses in all black vibes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Shit, he's describing me. <laughs> I think I can imagine you completely. It's a funny thought. <laughs> the fucking hair. Oh, that's so rude. If only we could meet to confirm my suspicions. Do it. Set up a meeting immediately. You. You. I will not be mocked by a mortal. Give me your soul. Your soul is mine for the harvesting. <laughs> It'll be a three course meal. You. You. Oh, did I hurt the scammer's feelings? You do type like that, though. I mean, <laughs> did I hurt the scammer's feelings? Oh, little baby. When did I scam you? Why do you keep calling me a scammer? You're giving me a complex over here. Bro, you're the one who started saying you were going to reap my fucking soul. If I hurt your dead little heart, what were you going to do? Cry and write poetry about it. Woe is me. Quoth the raven. I'm a little bitch. What makes you assume I am dead? I mean, the Grim Reaper is like... A skeleton, right? That's how I imagine them too. I mean, yeah, a skeleton, right? Another foolish assumption. Know this. I shall make it as painful as I can for you. Oh, now you're talking my language. I mean, <laughs> whips and chains excite me. <laughs> Your disrespect has been noted. Hey. Since reaping souls is your job and all, I have a question. Do you make a killing go oh, fuck we're leaning into the puns now too <laughs> i hate you i hate you so much <laughs> i love how this started off as flirting and it's come like to the point where it's like this is an angsty emo teenager talking to either their uncle or their father <laughs> what happened with the music it keeps changing up <laughs> oh my god Stupid mortal. You would quiver under my gaze before I granted you death. Oh, you were death. Using the word quiver was certainly a choice. <laughs> I'm quivering just thinking about it. Yeah, I'll go with that one. That, th th this one's more sensual. <laughs> Using the word quiver was a choice. I would like to see you try to insult me to my face. Bitch, I said come meet up with me. Meet me outside Whole Foods. I will beat your ass. And maybe some other things. Video call me then. Unless the little weeper is too scared. Oh, you're too scared. You're going to call crying back to your non-existent mommy. He did say he's not dead. He might have a parent or two. 
<laughs> I fucking love him. What the f Oh. Uh, that, that disappeared real quick. I didn't even get to read it. Incoming call. Accept. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm ready. Um. Whew. Okay, Fuchan. Everything's fine. <sighs> man up. Man up. We got this. Do I want to do my hair? Do I? Oh, God. He did sound kind of cute. Let's accept the call. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's chill. Over. Anything to say for yourself? Um, I wasn't done with that first. Oh, I am anything but scared of facing off as a mortal such as yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> he is fucking hot. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's about right. That could work, too. Oh, you certainly are cuter than I expected. Hello, my little reaper. Oh, we could keep it going. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, no, this is a fine as shit design, though. The medium length hair, but, hair, but then like the really fucking long ponytail. It's full on black, for real. Black and red. He's got the full red bedroom. No wonder I couldn't do it. You two are made for each other. Yeah, I'd live in this bedroom. Uh, the posters are kind of trash, though. He's got a lot of books. He doesn't have any lotion or lube. That's that's a problem. Hello, my little reaper. Mortal. Your little reaper. Death belongs to no one and everyone. Which means... Shit. Which means... You belong to me too, right? So I'm not wrong. I don't mind sharing. <laughs> the blush! <laughs> He's immediately on the back foot. He's like... I am. <sighs> no need to be flustered, my little reaper. It's okay. Come on. You know. Shit. What the fuck? There has to be a log in this. Eh. Okay. I don't know what that. Testing, testing. Is this working? What is this? I can message him as well. Yeah. But. but... No, there might not be. <laughs> Reread. That's okay. The play button? No, that's auto. Your deathly aura, so to speak, is lacking. I feel like that's something a Reaper would have. Oh, he's so confident all of a sudden. As if a mortal could comprehend something as advanced as an aura. I mean, you don't have much of one. You're interesting, human. Interesting. But completely and utterly incorrect. Thanks, my little reaper. <laughs> Immediately again. Just break him. Stop saying that. Uh, anyway, even if I was human, my aura would not be lacking. So you admit it. Admit what? You. Oh. Is it not obvious? You can type and text at the same time. Awesome! Wait, type and text. Oh, as the voice call? Let's not give it the option. <laughs> you are just a normal dude. <laughs> oh shit, I'm in the way of the chat. Um, It's fine. I read it out anyway. Um, How many times do I have to tell you that you're the Grim Reaper? The thing is... I don't believe you. He keeps saying that, but it's not true. I like I don't believe you. He's so flustered. Why are you acting so surprised? There's no need for that face, my little cutie pie. Look at the little fangies. He's so adorable. Oh, I'm going to make death my bitch today. No need for that face. Of course, I'm not going to believe you. I'm simply surprised that you could be so naive. I am the Grim Reaper, in charge of ferrying souls to their rightful afterlife. You're still saying it? Really? Are you trying to make me laugh? I'm not really interested in being whisked off into the afterlife or whatever you're offering. Nor am I interested in entertaining your strange fantasy. You are truly insufferable. Oh, look at his little pouty face! 
Oh, he's so angry. Oh, that's actually kind of sexy. I am here for the sole purpose of harvesting your soul. Your opinion on the matter hardly matters to me. Think what you want about me and my role. It changes nothing. At least he doesn't speak in capitalized <laughs> words. He's so cute. Yeah, he is. Hypothetically speaking, we're going to fuck with him again. <laughs> Aren't people meant to be, you know, dead for the Reaper to come after them? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So you're desperate for me. Well, that works. Oh god, my throat's getting scratchy. This is so much fun. Right, okay, makes total sense. Thanks for the explanation. Great, now I completely understand. Oh, isn't that just lovely? Nothing sweeps a guy off his feet more than, Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but I need you to die for me, baby. Very romantic and normal. Romantic? Mm, I suppose it is. Uh, uh, I was joking. Fuck, his tuny knows no limits. <laughs> he might actually be more tuny than Pio Chan. <laughs> oh my god. I would say there's something inherently romantic about death. You, you are death. You can't say that. You're just basically talking about how great your riz is. Even if that were true. You're not making the best first impression here. Don't look at me like that. It's not like I chose this fate for you. Ooh, the Reaper. Look, you're actually making me feel a little guilty. Good! I'm just here to do the dirty work, unfortunately. Feel guilty! Don't shoot the messenger and all that. Bruh, how about you? <laughs> These are my bedroom eyes. <laughs> I'm giving you this look because you're full of shit. You mean this one? Where I look at you like you lost your mind? Oh. These are my bedroom eyes. <laughs> bedroom eyes? Is that what you call that? Stop wiggling your eyebrows. <laughs> shit! I actually did wiggle my eyebrows! He knows me too well. <laughs> you're just embarrassing yourself. I don't see how those are supposed to be bedroom eyes. Hey, come on. <laughs> Are you serious? Can't you see my longing gaze? Yeah. Did you just scoff at me? Oh, I got a little love heart though. You longingly gaze into your death? A man after my own heart, it seems. That is not where I thought this was going. Here, I was just trying to flirt. Yeah, I just wanted to hit it and quit it, but my man's getting ready to settle down. This isn't where I thought this was going. <laughs> it's got to be a marriage by the end of this run. I don't plan to die anytime soon. Sorry. <sighs> what did I do wrong in my past life to get stuck with you? Bitch, I heard that. There's a mute button for a reason. You were supposed to. Oh, that smile was actually kind of sexy. <laughs> I didn't whisper it. Did I? Fuck. He can be hot. <laughs> now he's got me silenced. Whatever. Always the best line. When in doubt, just pull out the Final Fantasy VIII schoolie and hot. Whatever. More like I'm stuck with you anyway. You and your weird ass typing. Me? Why do you type like that anyway? You're one of those things. A Homestuck. <laughs> Fuck, I did not think we'd ever be on Homestuck on this channel. In the year of our Lord, about to be 2024. Fuck me. Could have at least gone for like, I don't know, has been hotel. <laughs> what in the nine circles of hell is a Homestuck? Oh, you really don't know? Oh, I have a fucking plethora of websites for you you have to do your own research though i'm not spending the next six days on this the all-knowing grim reaper has never heard of homestuck what is it i demand an answer no no if you don't know it's way funnier 
<laughs> Why do you type like that, though? What about my typing is so confusing to you? Um, a weird capitalization. Every single word. Is that not common? Mm, not at all, bruh. Seems kind of archaic, but not even archaic. Just weird. <laughs> Just weird. I thought you were doing as a part of the weird Reaper getup. You mean to tell me I do not type correctly? Oh, the slight blush. I mean, you type weird, but I wouldn't say it's not correct. Allow me to go to perish. Thank you. <laughs> He's still doing it. Fix it, my dude. I just told you what was wrong. It's fine. You don't have to perish. It's a bit embarrassing, I'm sure. But, you know, we all learn. I still XD, unironically. I XD all the time. XDing is awesome. Own that shit. It's exactly what I'm telling you. Not correctly at all. How embarrassing. I do not type correctly. He's blushing so much now. Holy shit. You dick. This bitch just ended on me. <laughs> I wasn't done with you. I was having a nice conversation. What? What did you hang up for? H Hello? Lil Reaper. Lil Reaper, where are you? Come on. I was finally having fun. Is he going to like look up other chat rooms and be like, how am I supposed to write? You know what? I want him to come back and just be like, yo, skibbity. I'm about to riz you up, fam. Um, check out my gap while I throw it back. I would, I would instantly end the call. Just skibbity. <laughs> I don't know if I used those words correctly. <laughs> I know skibbity. The, the only thing that I know is that I hate those words. <laughs> I've heard that one song where it's just like, uh, bah, 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 bah. I just want to be your Sigma. Skibbity. Stick out my gat like a Sigma. S shit like that. Oh, God. Anyway. Why'd you leave the call? There's no particular... Oh, shit. He's typing normal. Oh. There is no particular reason. None whatsoever. He's so fucking embarrassed. <laughs> um... Uh... I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything, but you're so skibbity, Fuchan. <laughs> What's the other one? It's like, you're so skibbity. You're so. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I just want to be your Sigma. I don't know what the second. Phantom Tax. Thank you. That one's so stupid. I have no idea what the fuck that is. But that song <laughs> gets stuck in your head. <laughs> no idea what Phantom Tax is. I know skibbity toilet is something. <laughs> God, I'm so fucking old. Um, it's still not right. Yeah, now you're not doing capitals at the beginning, but that's okay. A lot of people don't. The fact that you're putting a full stop at the end of every sentence, though. You don't You don't have to do that, bro. We don't need proper grammar. You could just type however you want. It's fine. It's still not right, lol. Oh, my boy. <laughs> Should I know what phantom tax is? No, don't worry about it. I don't either. I guess I'll go then. Well, if you have nothing to say, don't want to chat with me anymore? Little Reaper. Fuck. I need my archivist model. I don't... I can't... I need to have the right energy for this. Don't want to chat anymore, my little Reaper. I have no clue why you're typing like that. It is obviously incorrect. Oh, oh, shit. I didn't even realize I did it in all caps. It's fuck. I'm such a dick. <laughs> Who would type with so many capital letters? <laughs> Absurd. You should be embarrassed. Ahem. <laughs> I fucking love this game. This is so adorable. <laughs> I call him out on it. I joke about him with it. And now he's just like, you idiot. You. That's not how you type. I'm typing correct. <laughs> Okay, let's do this again. Yeah, you're still blushing. You didn't give yourself enough time, my boy. Are you embarrassed? You're blushing so hard right now. No need to overreact. There he is. My little reaper. I'm not little. No part of me is. <laughs> Whew! 
Good to know. <laughs> Shit. Yep. That. That. Exactly. That. <laughs> God damn it. They knew what I was going to say. This game gets me. I thought the way you typed was cute, by the way. Shut up. The way I type is unimportant to the matter at hand. Just hand over the soul so we can be done with this. I thought we were moving past the whole soul thing. No, mortal. There is no moving until the deed is done. <laughs> okay, you're setting me up for these. What do you want me to say other than... Oh. Well, I guess we should get the deed done. Fuck. Damn it. Okay, they didn't get me this time. I can't turn everything into an innuendo. You said once or twice already. Too bad. It's my soul. Yeah, you're gonna have to work hard for my soul. I said that. I didn't say it was a no. I said people have to work hard to get my soul. And like I said, I don't believe you. I mean, it's been fun messing with you, but... <laughs> the Grim Reaper isn't real. It's a myth. He's so frustrated. Do I look like a myth to you? No, you look like a very pretty stranger. Honestly, you do a little. The red eyes? Kind of a dead giveaway. <sighs> the jacket off the shoulders thing is kind of... Uh, it's been done too much recently. <laughs> it's so fuckboyish at this point. <laughs> God damn it. The rest of the outfit is fucking incredible. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm not about that, though. Uh, you do look like a very pretty stranger, at least. But the Grim Reaper isn't real. And I'm telling you, I'm quite literally... Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. I feel like we'll keep going circles at this rate, so... How about a bet? A bet? Oh, he's excited. Instead of my interest peaked, someone likes bets, huh? Like to gamble? You like it risky? I'm so down. Or maybe more like a deal. You have my attention. Continue. Death does love to play games. Whether like chess or like playing a fiddle. He's all about it. Perhaps I do, yes. So if what you claim is true, then you should have no problem taking a soul, right? Correct. I have taken many souls. I'll allow you a free pass to my soul. Oh? Intriguing. If you can take it. I'll allow it. I'll hand it over happily. I'll let you. And I'll only put up a small fight. <laughs> I mean, we gotta fight. Yeah, you gotta wrestle first, man. Oh, it's the versatile dream. You gotta find out who's gonna be on top. You gotta find out who wants it more. You gotta find out who's stronger. Um, sorry. Which obviously you won't be able to do. Oh God, there's so much top energy in these star ones. Which obviously you won't be able to do. <laughs> His face. What you claim to be doesn't exist. So of course you can't take it. Not what I can give anyway. But I admire your dedication to your role. It takes a lot to keep up that tuny energy. <laughs> so I'll humor you, and you can try it. And take it, I shall. Yo, that smile though. That is a fucking sexy pose and look. I'm glad you're confident. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're stupid. I like my men like that. <laughs> and, oh, and your arrogance, you have no idea what you've stepped into. <laughs> but I am glad you're confident. I'll give you a week. That should be no problem for the Grim Reaper. Oh? A week? You shouldn't underestimate me. I need only a day. An hour. Oh? Tell me more. You should take things slow, my man. It's not all about the speed. Sometimes you want to take it slow. You only need a day. Why did you bother with all this? And why are we both here? Exactly. You're playing with your food. That tells me you're not quite ready to eat. Are you perhaps struggling? <laughs> oh, you poor widow weeper can't weep my show. Fine. A week it shall be. I am honor bound by my very soul to accept the outcome of such a deal. 
And I am... Uh... Scout's Honor. Not out of bound, but you can trust me. <laughs> that remains to be seen. I mean, honestly, all I said is he has to reap my soul in a week. If he does that, there's no difference from fucking anything. <laughs> like, he's got my soul. How is this? You do what you do, man. But if you can't, what do you ask for? Hmm. Your soul. Yo! Your hand in marriage. I see your hand in marriage is cute, but that's a bit fast. If I have his soul, I get his hand in marriage. And I get everything else. <laughs> everything else. You know what? I just, just we're just gonna be. <laughs> I'll take your soul, please. My soul. I suppose that makes it fair. I hadn't expected that anyone would ever come after my own soul. I must admit. Yeah, I'm special like that. Scared? Ah. Mortal, I am scared of nothing. Except for typing incorrectly. <laughs> oh, you were so embarrassed, you poor little baby. Ahem. I agree to your deal. If I cannot take your soul in the next week, then my soul shall belong to you. Out of interest, what do you plan to deal with it? Okay. You will regret this deal, mortal. We'll see about that. Smiley face. <laughs> also, chat, there's a lot of people getting timed out right now. And for a lot of people, it's because you're using too many emotes. And for other people, it's because you're mentioning other livers. So just be careful. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's lovely to have you here. Um, but do check the description of the video and you'll see all of my channel's rules just so you don't get timed out anymore in the future. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're having fun. So far, this has been awesome. Eat it, probably. We could mix our souls and make some kind of soul baby. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Nah, I had a comment to make about that, but I don't think I will. I haven't decided yet. Sounds like you know I'm gonna win. I actually like the soul baby comment. That's for once that's better than the DLC option. <laughs> Wanna make a soul baby? <laughs> He's instantly so concerned. What nonsense are you spouting now? You know, a soul baby. You're a reaper. Surely you know about soul babies. Do I have to teach you about the ghost? Bird and the Reaper Bee. I heard what you said. I was honestly hoping I heard you wrong. <laughs> What's the issue then? You don't want to make us... If I own your soul, I can do what I want with it. I can put it where I want. I can do what I want. That's up to me. Putting aside the fact that what you said is impossible, I am not ready to be a father. <laughs> Shit, dude. Nobody ever really is. You just kind of... Have to step up, my man. <laughs> Guess I'll just hold on to the soul for now, then. We can revisit the soul baby thing later. We can find other ways. Perhaps more fun ways. Not with that attitude. Exactly. Exactly. We absolutely will not be doing that. <sighs> it's of little concern, seeing as you'll soon be yielding your soul to me. Fine. If not a soul baby... I guess I'll make a necklace out of it or something. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'd imagine a, a fucking soul reaper's soul would be nice and shiny. <laughs> For some reason, that's just as strange. Anyway, fun as this is, I've got plants to water. I've got a dog to walk. What are you doing with your life? It's getting kind of late. We can't all waste our time messaging random people on the internet. This would have taken much less time if you had done as you were told. Done as I was told? Yes. Um. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't usually follow orders from strangers. People usually do what I tell them to do. Okay, I, uh, I'm not that much of an egotist. Much as I like flirting with this guy, that's just a douchey thing to say. I don't usually follow orders from strangers. Well, 
Perhaps you should. My, you're very forward, aren't you? You do seem like the type to enjoy bossing people around. I'll pass, actually. Maybe you should follow my orders, little reaper. There we fucking go. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe you should follow my orders, little reaper. I... Oh? No arguments. Perhaps you'd like that after all. Preposterous. Again with the lack of disagreement. I... I definitely am not agreeing. Well, you didn't say no, though, either. <laughs> You're blushing like a schoolgirl. I mean, let's see where this is going to go. I will be one second, though. My dog is whining really loudly for some reason. I'm just going to check on him for one second. I'll be right back. He's absolutely fine. He must have seen like a dog out the window. <laughs> he was just whining very quietly. Well, I mean, very loudly from where he was because he's out outside the room. But yeah, I'm glad you guys didn't hear it, but he was going nuts for a little bit. There must be a dog he likes out the window. Whatever helps you sleep at night, my little reaper. What makes you think I want someone to boss me around? Honestly, just like your general demeanor. <laughs> Everything about you says, top me. Top me. <laughs> you kind of give the lost puppy vibes. Yep. You seem like the submissive type. Also, yes. There's something attractive about telling a handsome man what to do. Fuck. All of these things. <laughs> you seem like the submissive type. The. The. What? I. I am a Grim Reaper. A Grim Reaper! What about that makes me submissive? I'm literally domineering. It's in my job description. Apparently not. Because you haven't managed to reap me. And also, don't you take orders from like someone? A higher power? You didn't choose to be here, did you? <laughs> it's cute when you act all tough like that. Oh, he's blushing so much. Especially when your cheeks are pink. And I didn't say which cheeks. You know what? Mortal, you are dismissed. Bitch, I already said I was going to bed. I said it's too late for this shit. Off to bed. Immediately. Aw, but this is so fun. Dismissed. Do you not understand the word? You can go. Please. Ah, uh, but I wish I was so much fun. Yeah, that one. That's more fun than just saying, what if I say no? He could just log off whatever he wants. Yes, I usually have that effect on people. But it's time for you to get your due rest. Oh, he tried to have a little domineering moment. Did he do that? Oh, I always make people happy. You're so cute, baby girl. Oh, you're acting like you care. You'll need your rest. Else our competition won't be as fun. So you do like the power play dynamics. <laughs> you can just say sleep well, you know. Do it. Say it. Good night, little reaper. Sleep well, Folger. I kind of hate it when they make you put your name into games. <laughs> it, it somehow makes it so much more personal when you're just like calmly reading text you're like out of body experience just having fun and then suddenly the game is like oh i'm talking directly to you folger suddenly it's like oh fuck he's talking to me guys this is my reaper my baby girl touch starved flashbacks yeah pretty much <laughs> same kind of thing at least at this point it's me reading it for myself and not making other dudes read my name out. <laughs> okay. Hey, wait a second. How did you know my name? How indeed. 
I never told you. Damn, he's a good scammer. He's got like a little book. Wow. I wonder how exactly I could have known then. It's not like I have a big list sitting in front of me with your name circled at the bottom. Oh, you circled it. That's cute. Good night. <laughs> night, my little reaper. Hope you have a good one. Sleep well, Grimmy. Oh, wait. Can I change my username? Why? I mean, this one's kind of lame. It kind of suck. Lame. It is not lame. It represents how many souls I claimed before yours. I wonder if that's actually how many people have downloaded... No. It can't be. I'm guessing everyone's just hashtag 8129. Because it's definitely been more than 8,000 people who played this game. This game is popping off right now. It's a badge of honor. But can I change it or not? Fine. What about my picture? You should change your picture as well. That, th this shit is just not good. You're a good looking dude. Go for your real face. You're a needy little thing, aren't you? Aw. It's for you, baby. <laughs> the winky face. On these basic messaging app features. Nah, just for you. I'm needy for you. <laughs> Fine. I've turned on the feature for you. Oh, I get to make my own status. <gasps> and an avatar. Ooh, vaporwave. <gasps> Vegetation. So many cute anime girls. Lungs. Flowers. Sheep! Oh, shit. I have to go with the sheep, don't I? <laughs> sheep. <laughs> um, let's go with... Um... If I... Okay, I'm not going to say this word out loud. I'm going to check with you guys <laughs> before I lock this in. Is this funny or is this too far? Why can't I press A? Oh, it knows it's a bad word. Okay. Well, necrophilic. Ah. Funny? As a, men as a member of Niji Cancelled, funny or bad? <laughs> Funny or, funny or am I going to get some messages on Twitter about this? <laughs> it's, it's a joke about the fact that I want to fuck death, so... <laughs> funny, that's hilarious, that's funny. Use it, okay. Funny and bad. Fuck. <laughs> we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Worst case scenario... Twitter's a shit show anyway. <laughs> Anytime you go on shit... Uh, sh I called it shitter, that works too. Anytime you go on shitter, you should be ready for some abuse. Uh, fine. I've turned on the thanks, Grimmy. Night, night. Fucking dick. <laughs> I wish he reacted to my name. That would... Well, he couldn't. The fact that it wouldn't let me type it in as well. I was like, why isn't it letting me add an A? I could add a C. I'm clearly not at the word limit. <laughs> but I talk to other people now. No, I still... VT? Wait, are you a VTuber? Follow me on YouTube. You are. <gasps> okay. Thanks, Grimmy. Night, night. I liked little. <laughs> so funny to see. <laughs> Sorry, I actually fucking choked on spit. Oh my god. You can click your little picture to change it whenever now. I already did. I like this sheep. Yes, I work that quickly. You may be impressed. Enjoy. Night. Not everybody likes a Minuteman. Some people like it to take its time, but be more enjoyable. Losing my mind. I'm glad you guys like it. The C looks like an O. Yeah, if anybody... Whoa, whoa, whoa. After a restless night's sleep, you wake up and head off to work. If anybody says it's anything bad, we, we just pretend it's an O, okay? Necrophilio. It's an Italian name. If you're insulting me, you're being xenophobic. It's Italian. The day passes uneventfully, but you can't get your mind off of the strange things that happened last night. That man certainly wasn't the Grim Reaper, but you can't deny that something felt special about him either. You're thinking about him as you begin to walk back to your apartment. It's dark out. You finished work later than usual today. You believe that's why you didn't see the banana peel someone had left on the sidewalk. 
You slip over just in time to see a heavy metal beam fall from a construction site directly overhead. It falls towards you at a rapid pace. Roll to the side or wait and see what happens. <laughs> Fuck, could I... Okay, good. I can save in the middle of decisions. I, I want to wait and see what happens. I might die here, but this is kind of awesome. Dog? No, that, that, that was the sound effect in the game. The game did the whole... I think it was the sound of a metal beam falling. As an Italian, I can say it's fine. Grazie. Molto grazie. Molto bene. Wait and see what happens. It falls towards you faster and faster before a powerful gust of wind pushes it to the side. It clatters to the ground beside you. You blink a few times in surprise and stand. Just another normal day, huh? You walk for a little while longer and finally arrive back at your apartment. Was that not a tally? <laughs> Did I fuck up? My bad, I tried. It's gra- Isn't it grazie? Oh, did I- Did I- I combined Spanish and Italian, didn't I? Shit. <laughs> fuck. Anyway. What up, dog? I missed you, buddy. Dog 2. Let's give dog 2 a belly rub. You give dog 2 a big belly rub. It's grazie. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> he rolls around on the bed, happy for the attention. Boom, 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 boom. Check on him. Dog 2 is still sitting on your bed, tail wagging. He likes it there. You sit down next to Dog 2 for a moment, thinking of when you got him. That was... Just a few months ago, five years ago already, a year ago. Five years ago already. Actually six, but we'll go with five. That's right, you and Dog 2 have been together for five years already. Can't imagine life without him. You leave him be for now. Oh, he's a good boy! Somebody said I could interact with the plant. Oh, I can't. Renovate appearance. Nah, I can't interact with any of the plant. Oh, that plant! Water your plant. Oh, yes, please. Oh, achievement. Serenity. Water your plant. Sick. You give your little sprout a big drink of water. It seems to perk up instantly. I see, I tend to kill my plants by overwatering them. <laughs> Don't water it more. I learned my lesson. Uh, I killed a fucking spider plant. Those are supposed to be like the easiest ones to take care of. The ivies are still doing good. The bamboo is still doing good. But yeah, I, I killed a spider plant. How's my bed doing? Your comfortable bed. I've seen it's seen you through many a night's sleep. You've tried, but something is keeping you from being ready to sleep yet. Definitely has nothing to do with the handsome man pretending to be the Grim Reaper who messaged you yesterday. Nothing whatsoever. Looking at your bed reminds you of the stranded dream. Uh, strange. Wow. <laughs> strange dream you had last night. You held a scythe in your hands, palms sweaty as you took a soul from someone running down an empty street. It felt so real at the time. You wonder for a moment if that's what your new friend does before shaking your head. It's not really the Grim Reaper. That would be absurd. Plus, he has to do it gently. He has to make people like him first. That's some weak-ass shit, man. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. Let's listen in to our neighbors. Let's see how they're doing. The door leads to the hallway beyond. You're somewhat tired from your work today, so you don't feel like going anywhere. Just as you're about to turn away from the door, you hear a voice on the other side speaking quietly. Is now a good time to eavesdrop a little more? Frick, yeah, it is. Eavesdrop. You hear a voice that's light and airy through the wooden door. They seem to be speaking over the phone with someone. Sorry for calling back so late. I was actually on a... Well, I suppose it was a date. There's a short silence and the speaker's voice lowers in volume. It was amazing. It's crazy the amount of chemistry we have. It was like meeting an old friend again. There's something so familiar about them. It's a nice feeling. You hear the person let out a loud sigh. <sighs> then I went and spilled my coffee all over their shirt. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know if I can look them in the eyes again. There's a pause for a moment before the person speaks again. No, they were really nice about it. Just smiled and said it was fine. My favorite part of the date? Well, I thought I was rambling on too much. They just watched me with a smile and encouraged me to keep talking. It felt so natural. Like we've known each other forever. You hear a door open as your neighbor goes to retreat into their apartment. It was lovely. I couldn't help but feel this strange. 
wistful melancholy from them every now and then. No, no. Not exactly sure why. They just had this distant look in their eyes every now and then. It's hard to explain. Anyway, I need to go cook dinner. I'll call you tomorrow, Mom. You hear a door shut, and then there's silence. Okay, for one thing, that was cute as shit. For another thing, that person is about to die. <laughs> From the sounds of that and what we know about this game, it, it kind of sounds like they are entangled with a reaper. A reaper who has been following them for a while since they felt like they knew them. The fact that they keep looking away and like being all listful, being all like melancholy. I, I think maybe they're a reaper and they're trying to make them, you know, calm, comfortable, happy before they reap their soul. Which will be really sad if that's how that story ends. We love angst in this world. Yeah, we do. I mean, honestly, I've just jumped to that conclusion because this is a date with death. For all I know, it's just a dude who has some shit on his mind. It's like that meme of the girl being like, Oh, my boyfriend is always looking away wistfully. Is he dreaming about other women? What kind of horrible things are going on behind the scenes? And it zooms in on the guy's brain and he's just thinking something along the lines of, I just want to be your Sigma. You're so skibbity. Shit like that. Or just like, man, fucking Manchester United used to be at the top of their game. What is going on with them? That kind of shit. Yeah. I'm just probably overreacting, overanalyzing. Okay, what else have we got in this room? Bookshelf, we got anything new? Take a new book to read. Ooh, we get a new book every day? Fucking go. In the waters of a secluded pond, a solitary koi fish swam gracefully through the reflections of overhanging window willows. I love willows! This is beautiful imagery already. Above the pond, perched, a moss perched on a moss-covered stone, a raven observed the koi with an intensity that seemed unnatural, even for a creature as clever as a raven. Who are you, winged messenger? And what brings you to my watery abode? The koi inquired. I am the harbinger of endings, the keeper of shadows, replied the raven, its tone carrying the weight of countless whispered farewells. But today, I come seeking solace in the depths of your realm. For I am tired of being the herald of inevitable partings. At these words, the koi swam nearer to the shadowed upcrop of stone. It is such a heavy burden you must bear. Tell me, wise koi, what is the meaning of my existence? Why am I cursed to fly souls through the afterlife with my ebony wings, while others may be free, like you? Every creature has its purpose, winged one, the koi answered. I am beholden to this pond. You may fly. Do you not wish for wings of your own? The creature questioned. No, because for me, to swim is to know love, and for you, to fly is to be free. As long as you have that freedom, you can always dictate your own path to the future. For the longest time, the raven remained perfectly still, quiet and contemplative. When it finally spoke, the somber and mournful tone was gone, and in its place, wonder and awe. Thank you, wise Koi. What have I done to deserve your gratitude, feathered creature? You have reminded me of why I love to fly. Oh, that's so cute! That was another reference to death, in this case, the Reaper of Animals, I guess. <laughs> but he was reminded about life. It's not just about reaping souls. Sometimes it's about enjoying spreading your wings and being free, going where you want to go. Not always just reaping things. Okay. Let's talk to our little reaper again. It's time. That was so nice. I know, these books are so good. Very thematic, too. Check your computer. Let's do this, my little reaper. What the hell? Patreon? Oh shit, that takes me to two and a half studios is Patreon. Fair. <laughs> oh my god, they are marketing so fucking well through this game. Um, internet, games, paint, the chat room, music. Let's change our wallpaper. You get some plants. 
Ooh, we can get some of the other games they've made. This is the one. This is the one that I want to play. Oh, that's fucking adorable too, though. Yo, the character designs. They've got a few in interesting games, it looks like. But this is the one I want to play. I think. These two look like they're from it. <laughs> Maybe this is a different one, but it looks right. Um, What's this? That might be from it as well. That's very Yuri GL vibes. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. These are all distracting though. This one's nice and simple. I'll go with this one. This is very romantic feeling. I like it. Okay. Gallery? Oh, shit. They have like concept art and stuff. But we don't have anything unlocked yet. <laughs> Which is fair. Um, We got any games on here? Pong Runner Wordlet. Pong. No fucking way. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. It's so slow. Oh my god, please no. Yeah, no, we're done with this. It's nice that they... Oh, I can't get out of it. Pong, please. What if I lose? Oh, thank god. I'm free. <laughs> It's nice that they program these in though. Runner. Oh, it's the dinosaur. Fuck. It's the dinosaur game. Come at me. You don't scare me, Ray Moo Moo. How do I up the speed? I'm guessing it just happens automatically. Shit. Well, I'm done anyway. I don't want to. <laughs> the other game. Wordlet. Oh, it's Wordle. No, I'm good. I'm good. Paint? Bro, why? <laughs> like, this is impressive. I'm just... Why? <laughs> they have so many things. They've programmed so much into this. But for why? <laughs> Internet. Past, present, future. Hit me with the present. A clever cat. This card symbolizes intelligence and resourcefulness. Your wit and resourcefulness shine bright, resembling a cat plotting its next mischief. <laughs> Your moves could outwit even death. I hope so. That's my plan. I thought that was Little Mushroom for a moment. It reminded me of Little Mushroom as well. The background, right? The two characters looking into the distance. It's so nice. Okay, hit me with past. The Curious Kitten. This card signifies a strong desire for exploration and curiosity. You were like a cat chasing shadows, exploring every nook and cranny of life. Not so much anymore, though. Okay, hit me with future. The yarn ball. That, yeah, that's my spirit animal right there. If I were a cat, which I'm not. This card signifies a new project or endeavor. In the days to come, you'll be entranced by life's colorful threads. Perhaps you'll run away from it all with a new person by your side. What if I don't need a new person by my side? What if I leave by myself? Can I go to other websites? Nope. All I wanted to do was check my fortune. Fair. Okay. This is actually sick. They've got so much in this. Um, um, this will be in the chat room. Proceed. Hell yeah. Come to me, my little reaper. Your future is a big boy? Yeah. I will eat many foods. Why can't I talk to these people? Mortals are stupid. Oh, I'm giving you a status. Shit. Gonna make death my fuck. Making death my fuck. Death's my bitch. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. I wish to talk to the. Wait, no, that's good. I wish to talk to which or bluebird. Or model gamer, do not interact. Why? Don't mess up. Why do none of you like me? Man! Fine, Grim. Get over here. Are you so hard at work you have no time to talk to me, Grim? Hello. <laughs> Fuck me. Um. Hello. <laughs> Necrophilic to Grim. Necrophilic to Grim. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, that sounds so much worse than it should be. <laughs> Where are you, my little grip? We'll go with that one. No, fuck it. Come oh, little grip. Mm. Ah, yeah. This is funnier. <laughs> Come in, Grim. <laughs> hey, that's my real future card right there. <laughs> Fuck me. Necrophilic to Grim. I guess he's busy. I still have my soul, by the way. His name changed? Oh, yeah, he changed it to Grim Reaper. Oh, it was just stupid. That's good. He extended it. No way. <laughs> so much for I only need a day. An hour. You do love to see yourself talk. Don't you, mortal? Oh, damn. The image, though. Sexy as fuck, my man. I saw you talking to yourself yesterday before I responded, you know. Wait, really? Oh, shit. Yeah, he was. He was. I forgot about that. Profile pic? Yeah, the profile pic is nice. I was simply testing if it worked. I was not talking to myself. You're the one sitting here waiting for me. Lonely, are we? Nope, not at all. Kind of, actually. Me? Lonely? <laughs> Am I not allowed to feel lonely while waiting for you? <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, he's getting all blushy again. I knew I was irresistible, but I didn't expect you to need for me so quickly, mortal. I didn't say I needed you. Shit, man. He's turning it around. Let's go. <laughs> Not yet. Such a poor thing. Imagine being caught in a web made by the one who is fated to take your soul. I am not caught in your web, Grim. Plus, as far as I know, Grim Reapers can't make webs. Actually, you're going to be telling me your past spider or something. I could work with that. I like Arachne. <laughs> spider Grim. Spider Grim. Spider Grim does whatever a Spider Grim can. <laughs> Don't be stupid. It was simply a term of speech. A, a what? Did you mean a figure of speech? A term of speech. D do you mean a figure of speech? Ahem. Let's get back to the whole you miss me talk, shall we? <laughs> God, it really is just two bottoms trying to flirt with each other. <laughs> How long have you been waiting for me, mortal? I was just bored. Okay, I was kind of waiting for you. I was waiting for you for ages. Bruh, I was just bored. I, I finished my day. I was waiting for something to happen. I've expected someone to jump out at me all day. So, you know steal my soul or whatever no sign of any reapers scared are you always looking over your shoulder looking for me waiting for me oh god that fucking face you had such a good thing going and then you did the <laughs> kind of face waiting to see you make a fool of yourself <laughs> i didn't see you once for shame that's what we'll go for Yes, well, I was a little busy. Could not put in the effort I had hoped to. Still, the day is young. You're going to turn up at my place in the middle of the night? Perhaps. With a deal like ours on the line, anything could happen. Prepare yourself. Damn, I'll get myself dressed up all fancy then. I've already got my own chuny <laughs> kind of outfit going. Huh? No, that's not needed. Well, come on, we'll make a special night out of it. I'll light some candles. Maybe we'll use the hot wax for something else later. Oh, you could treat me to dinner. I could treat you to dessert. No, I don't think we should do that. Or do you plan to let me win the bet that easily? Oh, shit, right, the bet, my soul. Um, that, that one's totally real. The bet I have with the literal Grim Reaper. <laughs> yes, I am the Grim Reaper, and we have a bet. Did you hit your head? I can't wait, you know. Four? I can't wait for the day when you have to admit you're a liar. You too are just a poor mortal. 
You would do best to remember your fate lies in my hands. Your life can come to an end at any moment. Yeah, so why am I still here? <laughs> well, I happen to be pretty fucking shit at my job. <laughs> Didn't you say you'd have my soul in an hour? Honestly, I'm surprised someone as powerful you as you is taking so long. You, you, you keep talking yourself up being the mighty Grim Reaper and all that. Yeah, well, what's going on? I've simply decided to not rush. What have you been doing today then? Stealing other poor mortal souls? Here I thought I was special. Interested in my day-to-day -day life, are we? Maybe. Maybe not. Could be. Maybe I couldn't care less. <laughs> Actually, yes. Is that any real surprise? Is that any real surprise? I've literally invited you round three times. And you've ignored me every fucking time. <laughs> You're the Grim Reaper. It's only natural, right? By the way, is that you in your profile picture? Yeah, the best question is, when the fuck did you take that picture? Because that... Uh, you went to some effort for that shit. The makeup all coming off the lips. Is that a selfie? So what if it is? You did that all for yourself? Oh my god, that's almost cute. If it wasn't so sad... <laughs> I bet you took it just for me. Pretty much obsessed with me, aren't you? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> He's so cute. You are stupid. And talk too much. Forget my picture. Let's go back to talking about my day. It was busy. As per usual. And you, mortal? What takes your time during the day? I work for a living, bro. Those don't pay themselves. Slaving away my life for other people. The bills don't pay themselves. Elaborate. <laughs> okay, that cow mochi's fucking adorable. Who's interested in whose day-to-day -day life now? Holy shit. Work as a mortician. I do freelance. I work in fashion. I work at a school teaching. I make computer games. I'm an artist. I'm an animal attendant. I'm an author, actually. One of these I actually have done. One of these I aspire to. <laughs> I guess I'll go with teacher. That'll probably lead to interesting things. Author. You guys want author? Mortician. Mortician is sick. Oh, shit. Yeah, actually. One of these I've done. One of these I aspire to. One of these I was working towards. <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> author. Okay. Author it is. I'm an author, actually. Are you right? Books? Nah, I write those little advertisements at, at, at like the end of pamphlets that just give you the fine print and tell you that actually whatever we're advertising is completely fake and will probably kill you. That's what I do. Uh-huh. I grew up writing stories. Why do you sound so surprised? Yeah, why do you sound so surprised? I have so many books in my house. I am learned. I speak good. I told you when your grammar was wrong. <laughs> I didn't peg you as a writer. You didn't peg me at all yet. Uh, buy me dinner first, Grim. Jeez. What do you write? Um, fantasy, romance, nonfiction, murder mysteries, fantasy for sure. Romance would be funny too. I'm gonna go fantasy. Fantasy is better. How do I find your book, Futan? It's actually <laughs> in the description of every video too. If you check the one that says blogspot.legatus505.com, it's only like six or seven chapters so far. <laughs> Fantasy. Huh. Interesting. Well, color me impressed. Really? You proud of me? Are you a writer too? Are you the one who's been writing all the books about death? Yes. Writing is a difficult and taxing job. It is underappreciated. So, a good job. Ah, well. Thanks, man. I didn't expect that from you. Oh, he's suddenly being serious. Oh. No problem. So. What that bussy did. <laughs> I'm guessing you just tell me your job was being the Reaper if I asked. At least you finally recognize it. That is my job, yes. My job, my hobby, and my reason for living. 
sure. That's a little sad. Yeah, you, you, you need a better work-life balance. Maybe I can be your koi fish. Perhaps I can teach you to spread your wings. How do you do it then? Stick your hand into their chest and pull it right out. Stick your teeth into their neck, vampire style. You sure have a wild imagination. That is definitely not how it's done. Though I must admit, I would make a dashing vampire. You're so egotistical! But he's not really particularly wrong. He's... Mm. <laughs> White-haired vampires are in right now. Have you heard of our lord and savior, Kuzuha Senpai? <laughs> then how do you do it? I'd be happy to... Oh, I'd be happy to offer up my neck for you. You'd definitely make a good vampire. <laughs> I do not understand humans' fascinations with those creatures. I mean, it's pretty simple. They are mortal. They hot. They wear fancy clothing. <laughs> those, those are pretty much the three things. Vampires are kind of hot. Then do you believe that I too am kind of hot? Surely if I would make a good vampire, then I must be. Bro, do you even need me to... Look at the fucking image you took. I'm going to save for one thing. I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> There aren't really, like, many things I feel like I'm going down a bad route, but still, just to be safe. Do you even need me to tell you? No, but I always enjoy ego boosts. Yeah, I'm surprising. You do seem kind of needy. If you were a vampire, where would you bite me? Ah, uh, don't vampires go for the neck? Oh, no, my boy, you have no idea. The neck is that basic bitch shit. Sometimes you go for the wrist if you want it kind of informal. Sometimes you go for the hand if you want to do a nice little kiss and then bite. Sometimes you get all the way down to the point where you're between their thighs. You're having a fun time and then you just give it a little bite. Make things a bit spicy. Fuck yeah. Don't be so vanilla. Fine. I'll pick for you. How about my collarbone, my wrist, my thigh? <laughs> Shit! Those were three of the four I described! This game gets it. This game fucking gets it. My thigh. Uh, uh, that's a little close and personal. I, I, yes. If you're a vampire, that's okay. That is a rule for my life, too. If you're a vampire and you're hot, preferably with white hair, you can get close and personal. That's okay. Own your sexiness. If I... If I had to pick... Um... Maybe... The collarbone? Oh, oh... If I was a vampire, I would bite you all over. I'd leave the little love marks everywhere. I... I... I mean, if that was okay with you. Always consensual. No? I... I didn't say no. Ahem. Why are we talking about souls? Let's go back to talking about souls! Anyway... This is why it should have been a voice call, man. When you go for a voice call, they can't just... Well, they can hang up on you. But they can't run away like this. This is some bullshit right here. Ah, <sighs> anyway, back to the matter at hand. Do you have a daily quota you have to fill? So wise. Oh shit, that would suck. It works like a fucking car dealership. <laughs> He's combusting. Yeah, he is. He's actually adorable. And he went with it. He was. A, I didn't say no. He wants to. Yeah, he'd go biting the collarbone. He's down. I mean, to be fair, fucking look at me. Ah. <sighs> Kind of got Father Ovid being channeled here, actually. With the longer hair. Archivist someday. <laughs> Do you have a daily quota you have to fill? So wise. What if you don't get enough one day? Pick a random human and they'll do. What? No. It's predetermined, obviously. I have no hand in the matter. I am simply assigned jobs. And I complete them. Usually, anyway. 
But here we are. Yeah, you kind of suck at dealing with me. And that's sad because I long to be completed. <laughs> oh my god. Zip down that turtleneck, boy. <sighs> only, only for Grim. Only for my little Reaper. <laughs> Another run after the Archivist debut. If they add stuff to it, I can... The studio seems very happy with this game. So who knows? Maybe they'll add more. But Chan, look at the ad. Premium. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Advisor 69. Look at the bottle. Fine, I'm clicking it. Moonflower. Made by Cats on a Lilypad Studio. When the source of the kingdom's magic is in danger, High Alchemist Nika Skylar has no choice but to intervene. Joined by a mysterious detective, Skylar must act before the kingdom is plunged into darkness. Ew! Another visual novel. Oh, yeah, that one's called Moonflower. Man, I wanted my penis enlargement pills. <laughs> oh, God. I love this ad. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what the fuck is a Mimo? Fine. I need the no. Hit me. What's a Mimo? A game called Please Be Happy by Studio Elan. A Yuri visual novel that'll make you both laugh and cry. Story about love, trust, mortality, and understanding not just how to be happy, but to be human. Fuck, I'm adding that to my list too. These all sound good. Thank you, A Date With Death. You're giving me a whole fucking backlog of games to play. <laughs> anyway. Aw, so you didn't pick me out? I was kind of sad. Here I thought I was special. I'm going to go kind of sad. It's a job. I take it serious. I'm not going to go around taking souls at random. Why not? Wouldn't that be more exciting for you, Grim? I can understand why, but... Doesn't that get boring as shit, my dude? If I was the Grim Reaper, I'd take all the souls. <laughs> I let everyone live extra long lives. That might not be good for some people. I'd get a promotion and be your boss. There we go. <laughs> How dare, Grim. We are pleasure, not work. Exactly, kindred and on. <sighs> I bet you'd like that. Being bossed around by me. Stop it with that smiley face. It taunts me. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, no, I'm with the Grim Reaper on this one. Smiley faces are inherently creepy to me, except for XD. XD and Kalmojis, they're all fine. A pure smiley face, whether it's that one or like uh, the colon capital D, I don't like them. It feels weird. What do you mean? Are you saying you wouldn't like it? Whether I would like it or not is none of your business. I mean, you didn't say no, my man. That's basically a confession. Quit it, chat. Quit it. <laughs> God damn it. I don't even have a rule against that, so I can't even do anything. Just there. Yuck. <laughs> this is why you would never be a good Grim Reaper. A Grim Reaper seems to imply there are multiple. And you're speaking with the very best of them. Obviously, I do not work alone. I cannot be everywhere at once. Do you not know how many people die a day? 150,000 plus. I am talented, but not that talented. Shit, what's the Blue Oyster Cult song? 40,000 men and women every day. Be like they are. Come on, baby, don't fear the reaper. Um... Shit, that number has skyrocketed in the last 40 to 50 years. I don't remember when that say song came out, but it used to be 40,000 men and women every day. It's tripled. Well, shit. <laughs> hmm. But surely the very best would have had my soul by now. Sounds like you're slipping, my man. You are a difficult one. You wouldn't understand my struggles. Global population go burr. Yeah. Global population just keep going and it don't stop going and it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming. <laughs> Men and women, not children. That's true. Why don't you tell me about them then? Oh, I'm a good listener. Lay them on me. I struggle plenty in life. <laughs> you can tell me. I like that one because it just, it feels like there's so much more behind that. <laughs> I have no idea. I almost die every day. 
It's ish. Oh. You are them. Oh. Oh, caps. You angry, bro? You mad, bro? You myron? This is how dire the situation is. And yet, you're sitting there, perfectly content to keep living, despite that not working for me. Sounds like a you problem. My bad. I didn't realize it would inconvenience you. I really am so sorry, Mr. Grim Reaper. Honestly, I do feel a little guilty. Sorry. <laughs> no, fuck that. Um. Fine. No, I'm not saying sorry. Didn't realize it would inconvenience you, you dick. So, you'll hand it over. <laughs> nope. No, absolutely not. A thousand curses upon you. <laughs> Only a thousand, bitch. I have like more than that in my own Necronomicon. Weak. Nothing about me is weak. You also declared nothing about you was small. And then I saw that tiny snatched waist. Nothing. What about your love for me? What about your want for me? Let's go with want. I would have gone with desire, but want is close enough. What about your want for me? You're saying that's not weak? Mortal. You walk a fine line. A very fine line. You're pretty fine yourself, Grim. It's okay to admit you were wrong, you know. I am never wrong. Then your want for me must be. Huge. <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> He's so easy to bully. Holy fucking shit. I'm already sick and tired of entertaining you. What? Are you so adorable, bro? <laughs> but nobody else to talk to, huh? Yeah, everybody kind of ignoring me. Let me in! Oh shit, I accidentally pressed the freaking advert again. Um, why will no one talk to me but death? <sighs> of course I do. Does that matter? To be honest, I like talking to you. It's hilarious. You're surprisingly fun. Occasionally you're sweet. He is, but it's more hilarious. <laughs> oh, falling for me already. I can understand that. I would fall for myself too. Yeah, I get that. When you're this fine, it's hard not to get lost in your own eyes in the mirror. I think you fell for yourself a long time ago, Grim. Maybe. Whenever I look in the mirror, <laughs> my heart sings. Bro, you can't be trying to be flirtatious and then throw all these goddamn cow emojis at me. <laughs> anyway, answer this immediately. I can't even say no. What if I don't answer it immediately? What if I take a break for some water? Ah, delicious. Ah, make him beg. That was my hope. However, having now sat here for about 30 seconds, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the top yes. This is ma. Wait, 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 wait. Before you get into the weird Grim Reaper thing, I have a really important question. This should be hilarious, I'm sure. Axolotl? Oh, it is an axolotl. That's fucking adorable. <laughs> what the hell are those emojis? I mean, they're cute, but why so suddenly? Did you just discover emojis or something? There were so many <laughs> that really were. <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, I mean, they're cute, but why, why so suddenly? They are a mortal custom, no? Fuck it. I knew it. I knew he would just immediately go on like Urban Dictionary or some shit. <laughs> a custom? I mean, people use them to chat occasionally. <laughs> But the ones you use are kind of outdated, strange. They are kind of cute, but they're also kind of weird. What? They are not. Mm, they kind of are, my dude. 
Oh, Grim Reaper. I am fond of this one. Let me move myself so you can see the one he means. <laughs> I'm quite fond of that one too, Grim. It's pretty adorable. <laughs> um, it's cute. <laughs> they kind of are. According to the internet, emojis are frequently used in text chats. Someone on Yahoo Answers specifically said so. Ah, uh, most people use the little faces nowadays rather than cow emojis. They are, but not those ones usually. More at that high of a frequency. Those are called cow emoji, but they're not really normal emotes. Damn it. <laughs> you didn't use them yesterday, did you? Why the sudden change? The entire way you type is different. Yeah, that. <laughs> Thank you, I am well aware. <laughs> he knows it's cute! God damn it, he's fucking adorable. I. Does it even matter? I shall refrain from using them any further. Oh, they're so cute! Don't stop, I like laughing at them. No, they, they're cute, they're adorable. <laughs> uh, I wish I'd never called you. You're the one that wanted my full attention. And you have it. Pretty much at half mast already. <laughs> Was there something in particular you wanted to say? Or did you miss me or something? Nope, not really. Then why did you call? Eh. I just wanted to see how quickly you'd answer. I believe this is a new record. Bitch. <laughs> I took like 30 seconds. Game, don't lie to me. <laughs> He's so baby girl. He freaking is. He's also girl failure. Was about to type cute, but then you said that, Fuchan. I mean, you can say he's cute. That's fine. <laughs> Unlike me. Next time I won't answer at all. Of course you will. You are drawn to my charm, after all. Like a bee who seeks honey. No, you ain't that guy. You're close to that guy. You have the looks of that guy. <laughs> But you ain't that guy. <laughs> I can't tell if you're just very self-confident or completely full of yourself. What? Well, first things first. Self-confidence is, as a mortal might say, hot. There's no point in arguing with me there because I am correct as per usual. Secondly, you keep saying grim this, grim that. My name is not grim. Why would my name be grim? Completely and utterly foolish. I don't know, man. You do look like a Grim. It kind of suits you. It, it do kind of suit him. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, he's overconfident. He's arrogant. I like that. <laughs> we can't not answer the call. Yeah, we genuinely don't have any other friends. We have nothing else to do at night. Can't even fall asleep without talking to our little Reaper. What is your name then? I'm sure you'd love to know, wouldn't you? Oh, you must desire my name to fall from your lips. Bruh, I just... You're the one who said you didn't want me calling you Grim. Huh? The only one desiring that is you. If you say so. You're not disagreeing with me, I see. Listen here. My name is not for mortal ears. It is classified on all levels. Bruh. You sound like a VTuber. <laughs> VTuber's doing the whole like, oh, that bit is classified information. Well, normally with their names though, you little bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm, sure. Mm-hmm. How the hell can a name be classified? Doesn't make any sense. Exactly. He doesn't want me calling him Grim. He won't tell me his name. You really are full of secrets, a little reaper. I suppose a little bit of secretism is attractive. Wonder what else you're keeping from me. I wonder if you have a name at all. There we go. Let's go with that one. Let's be like, I bet you don't even have a name. You're just a nobody. Nobody loves you. Nobody cares. Maybe you don't. I do. Well, why keep it from me then? The reasoning for that is... Classified. <laughs> Fucking of course it is, dude. Seriously? Ah, of course it is. Literally what I said. 
Somehow I knew you would say that. Of course it is. I should have guessed, really. Oh, this is super unfair. Not my name. Life is unfair. The only fairness is in death. Anyway, why wouldn't I know it? It's quite literally my job. Oh, I'm his job. <laughs> the game knows you too well. Yeah, it gets its target audience. <laughs> Honestly, life is overrated. Personally, I'm pretty fond of being alive, thanks. Although with that name, fuck. More like you hacked into my computer when you installed this virus riddled program. Doesn't let me end the call either, you dick. Then you stole my information. If that is what you want to believe, be my guest. Fine, I'll just stick with Grim then. That works perfectly fine for me. Or Little Reaper, whichever I prefer. Or maybe I should come up with another nickname. Hmm. How about Ghost? How about Little Lamb? Hmm, Snowball. I fucking love Little Lamb. That's adorable. <laughs> He's so pissed. What the? Where does the lamb part come into it? Your white hair, dog. You look like a little lamb. You have that fluffy white hair. You little lamb, baby. If anything, I'm more like a tiger than a lamb. Ah. <laughs> you adorable little lamb. You have a baby axolotl plushie behind you, dude. Are you asking me to call you kitten? Damn. Okay. The game just outrazed the shit out of me. I am absolutely not asking you to do that. No. No. You're a little picky, aren't you? Then how about... Hmm. You're bright like the moon. Luna? Moonlight. What? N no. Storm. No. Just tell me your real fucking name, dude. You're real picky about this shit. Nagito Komaeda! Oh, wow. The fucking call out. Ah, if you don't know what that is, that's Super Dang and Rompa 2. <laughs> Nagito Komaeda, our boy who loved chaos. And had similarly, like, bad luck, but good luck to co compare to the main character. Mr. Bones. Q-tip. Generic white-haired anime boy. I'm going with Nagito. Let's see how far this goes. Who? What? If you have nothing good to say, then say nothing at all. Hmm. I thought it was a good one. Phantom? Phantom. Oh, that might work with his tuny experience. God, what else is white? Can't think of anything else kind of edgy. Ice? <laughs> Ice isn't bad, actually. What's an agito? Can you eat it? You could. <laughs> <sighs> Steve. <laughs> no. Are you sure you don't want to be a Steve? Steve. That's such a plain, boring fucking name. Then... You know what? A Grim will do just fine. Lord, please help me. Please don't subject me to these nicknames any longer. Hey, okay, Steve. No need to overreact, Grim. You're the one who started with the whole don't give, don't call me Grim bullshit. You. Me? Yes, you. You are the only one here. Your words make me want to wring your neck myself. Yeah, I did see that someone in chat said Steve a long while ago. <laughs> Somebody said, just call him Steve. Uh, a lot of people laughed at it in chat and it's like, had they played this game before or were they just that on point? Because that's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> wow, it's kind of rude. I don't know if I'm into that kind of thing. For a computer screen? Good luck. All right. I'm down. That doesn't zoom in on my face anymore. I'm too high up. <laughs> but all right, I'm down. Wait, why do you sound so excited? Well, <laughs> you have to see me in person to do it right. I wouldn't mind meeting up with you for the right reason. <sighs> you will meet me eventually. On the day of your death. 
Hurry it up then, dude. I'm not getting any more beautiful. You better bring flowers too. <laughs> sure. If that'll make things easier for you to accept. You'll be the first mortal I bring flowers to. The first mortal? So you have a past with some other gods or, you know, intangibles. Have you given flowers to someone not mortal before? I have not, actually. I suppose I'm extra special, then. I suppose so. How does Grim Reaper dating work, anyway? It usually just does not work. Mortals are forbidden, of course. And the rest of us are too busy working to take an interest in one another. But do you want to date someone? Don't you ever get lonely, Grim? Don't you want someone to hold you? To have you? To absolutely f you until you cry because it feels so good? Uh, It's not that I not want to. Oh, he's so sad now. Who knows what will happen in the future? Or if anyone can meet my standards. Oh, the tongue. You son of a bitch. You're such a cat boy. <sighs> okay. I wouldn't mind trying. But with an attitude like yours, you'll be lucky to find someone whose standards you meet. True. Yeah, let's go with that one. He kind of, the tongue is pissing me off. I can't. He blep, yeah. He giving us a little mlem. Little mlem. I disagree. I would fit anyone's standards. Just as I assume I fit yours to a T. I don't know if you measure up, my man. People who are actually big all over don't normally need to say it to people on the first day that they fucking meet them. And if I said you did? Let's try, but I don't think so. You lie to yourself with such ease. What a skill to have. I can see the way your eyes trail over me. You can lie to yourself, but you cannot lie to me. Bro, I'm just checking out that tuny fit. I'm wondering how many times you've been to Hot Topic. You got like a card for that? You spend money anywhere else? The posters are like came from there too. That scythe you probably made yourself. That's actually pretty impressive. I like the gnarled wood. The axe attached to the top. Pretty impressive, honestly. I don't even see how it attaches, so that's impressive. Everything else, not a fan of. Anyway. Let's call me Grim. I have to listen to even one more of your stupid nicknames and I make them bust on the spot. Whatever, Steve. What about me? What about you what? Don't I get a nickname? Why would you need a nickname? I know your name perfectly well. Folga. Perhaps you find yourself too flustered hearing your name spoken by someone like me. Shit, he's on to me. <laughs> I just think nicknames are fun. Flustered by you? What if I am? We could have matching nicknames. You could be Grim and I could be Mandy. The Grim Adventures. Maybe I should have been Bill. Now nah, I'm good with Mandy. Uh, and what would these matching nicknames be? You be Grim, I can be Reaper. Okay, that goes together pretty well too. <laughs> I like being Reaper. Fuck yeah. Especially with the outfit I'm wearing. I'm ready to go. No. You be honey and I can be bun? Oh, that's disgusting. Get out of here. Denied. How about sugar and spice? And then when we have children, we can have twins. And we can name them everything and nice. Neither describe either of us. I can be pretty fucking spicy. Thank you very much. Mac and cheese? These are getting more absurd by the minute. Why would I want to have a matching nickname with you anyway? I mean, you're going to be pursuing me for the rest of your life. That shit's fucking clear. <laughs> It'll be cute when you eventually fall for me. Since that's inevitable and all. <sighs> the only part of me that'll be falling is my scythe upon your soul. Bro. The only part of you that'll be falling. <laughs> Shit, that doesn't even work. I'm not worried about the parts of you that'll be falling. I'm more excited about the parts of you that are going to be rising. Sir. Rising all the way to the heavens. Your scythe is a part of you? What? 
N no. Then why did you say it? That's on you, buddy. <laughs> Look, a nickname is unnecessary. But if you had to pick one, what would you pick? Hmm. Annoying, irritating, infuriating. Those are adjectives, mate. They're not nouns. I just noticed what you changed your chat name to. D don't worry about it. <laughs> My bad. I didn't realize we had the nickname police here. You're just denying everything I say, so... Give me a proper nickname. Seems like someone isn't creative. <laughs> Don't tell me you're too shy to tell me. Oh, my yo reaper. You look like you already have one in mind. <gasps> the blush. There we go. We caught him. I might have thought up something. Oh. You already had a pet name picked out for me? How cute. Lay it on me then. Um. I... I think I should pick another. No, 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 no. If you're having that reaction, it's perfect. Tell me exactly what you were thinking. But why? I want to know the one you already had picked out. I suppose it will do. How long ago did you pick it? Uh, perhaps a few years ago. Damn, this dude has been obsessed with me for fucking ever. You want some Twilight shit right now? <laughs> a few years ago, we just met. How funny. Don't you give me the tongue yet. It's almost like you've been on my list for years. Anyway, it's sun. Sunshine. Oh, like I fucking brighten up your day. That's fucking adorable. Sunshine? You think I'm like sunshine? Sorry, I misspoke. I meant nightmare. Mm -hmm. Nah, you said it twice, mate. You are so fucking down, man. I think you meant it, actually. I don't mind being your sunshine. In which case, your nickname... If I'm sunshine... You could be Cher, like Sunny and Cher. Or you could be like, I don't know, Cloud? Cloud strife. <laughs> sunshine and cloud, that'd be pretty cute. Starfight, moonlight, sunshine and moonlight. Oh, we could both be moons that way. Or he could be, yeah, just moon. Honestly, moon would be good. That way he reflects me. He's always glowing because of me. Oh, that's adorable. However, I'm stuffing my ears. La la la. Cannot hear you. You're literally not doing that. <laughs> Please refrain from speaking anymore. It's rather grating. <laughs> la 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 la. Again. You're sweet, Grim. You're so nice, Grim. Nah, we ain't gonna friend zone him. Let's go with sweet. You're sweet, Grim. You did suggest Moonlight earlier? Yeah, Moonlight could be a nice pairing with that. And you are delusional. Completely and utterly. You don't seem so sure. Your face screams uncertain. <laughs> There's nothing I am more certain of in life. Or death for that matter. Fine. Then I guess I'm completely and utterly delusional. But also you think I'm like sunshine. So I have that going for me. You really do seem kind of adorable sometimes, you know. <laughs> when you look at me like that, I want to tease you. There we go. You must think about me a lot to pick out a nickname like that. Let's go with that one. That's cute, too. That's actually pretty cute. It was a mistake. Oh, no. His tunie's coming back out. <laughs> well, it's a mistake that's made me happy. Oh. Hi. Uh. Nine house. I'm not made for this kind of thing. Look at me, Grim. Say it one more time. Go on. Call me sunshine again. No. I refuse. Please. 
pretty please pretty please with sugar on top look deep into my eyes deep deep into them and call me sunshine oh, i can't help but swoon oh, swoon yes i'm definitely totally swooning right now you're bullshitting me who me i wouldn't dare <laughs> Come on, say it again. No. Nope. Absolutely not. Oh, he's so embarrassed. <laughs> what if I hand over my soul for it? You'd really do that? I absolutely will. <laughs> and hand it over now. Na 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 na. That's not how transactions work, my dude. You give me the goods, and then. Wait, you give me the money and then I give you the goods is what I meant. <laughs> Fuck. You guys know what I meant, right? This is why I'm not a Rizlo. <laughs> oh God, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but I do want you to say it again. <sighs> really? You can only blame yourself for coming up with such a cute nickname. There's no reason to be shy, my little Reaper. <sighs> shy? You would call me shy. I'm anything but. Mm hmm. That's why you're so flustered right now. I am not flustered. I can call you whatever I want. If you could really do that, you wouldn't be so embarrassed about the nickname. You'd just be trying to put me down with it. You'd be like, oh, sunshine. Does that make you feel something, sunshine? Oh, my cute little sunshine. You are being fragile as shit right now. So timid, so shy, so hesitant. Adorable. I like that about you. Nah, you're just way too easy to tease. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, man. This wasn't even a fucking contest. I... I am the Grim Reaper, for God's sake. I am none of those things. And then prove it, baby girl. Don't worry. I can wait. Let me get my popcorn. Ah. Seriously. You're seriously houseborn. You. You're. Like sunshine. In the worst of ways. You're far too bright. I hate sunlight. Mm, that's not how it sounded the first time you said it. I don't mind casting some of my rays out at you. I can't help it if I'm naturally radiant. I like the top one. That's better. <laughs> Please don't. Grim. What now? You're blushing. If you blush like that, you make me want to tease you more. You know what? My cat's on fire. I gotta go. You what? Bro, you have a cat? That actually makes sense cat would be the perfect pet for a grim weeper <laughs> and i i think i left my stove on and my fridge open and the front door unlocked running away just like that huh i think i've used those excuses before too but i don't want you to go yet it's actually kind of fun in a weird way i just got to look past the grim reaper cosplay thing you have going on and the fact that you illegally unstole this app on my computer of course it's not a... And even if your personality is kinda... Wait, what's wrong with my personality? I didn't say there was anything wrong with it, Grim. But if the shoe fits, me think the lady doth protest too much. <laughs> Bro forgets to do everything. His refrigerator's running. He has to wash his hair. Um, uh, he's getting a phone call. Um, bee 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 bee. See, phone call. My personality is fine. Yours, on the other hand. Oh, so I didn't illegally install anything. Your mortal laws don't apply to me. Really? I wonder what the court would think if I sued you for invasion of privacy. They would never catch me anyway. Aha! 
That's where you're wrong. I'm tracking your location right now. What? That's right, bitch. You get on my computer, I can find you. Nah, I'm just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> Unless... Or maybe I'm deadly serious. <laughs> wow. You truly are so funny. I'm laughing so hard. Ha. 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 I can literally see you, you dork. You aren't laughing. Track it all you like. You'd never be able to reach me anyway. Why? You live in another country? Sunshine. I live in another plane of existence. <laughs> Look at him trying to take back the lead again. He's just immediately like, Oh, Sunshine, you have no clue. But you did call me Sunshine. Well, let me guess. The underworld, heaven, Australia. You live down under, innit, anyway, mate? I. What? Australia? Yeah, Australia. Outback. You know, a place where you gotta have a knife. That is a location on Earth, mortal. Is it really, though? Have you seen the spiders? Is there really any proof it's on Earth? Have you considered picking up a map? Yeah, mate. Then I got bothered. I wanted to go down to the bottle instead and have a good one. What if the maps are lying, though? Personally, I don't even believe the world is a globe. I think it's flat and they're hiding a hollow Earth. That's where the dinosaurs live and the dragons and the lizard people. And frankly, I don't want to deal with your tuny ass. I can have my own tuny ass. I mean, Australia's got all those spiders and animals that want to kill you. Yeah, if anywhere was the underworld on Earth. <laughs> Seems like a different dimension to me. Huh. Maybe if I sent you to Australia, the wildlife would do my job for me. No, you buffoon. I'm in the underworld. The fucking tongue again. Bro, put... <sighs> I thought that would be obvious. Yeah, I'm just messing with you, dumbass. Mostly. Australia might be a hoax. I have never met someone who's from Australia. I'll just say that. I've met people from New Zealand. And I'm going to say it. New Zealanders have pretty much the exact same accent. Pretty much the damn exact same accent. So, <laughs> maybe Australia is just a rumor made up by New Zealanders. Because they just, you know, don't want people to always be visiting New Zealand and their natural beautiful landscapes. They want to pretend there's another country out there and it's just a different part of New Zealand where they let foreigners go into. No, but Sonny. I've never met Sonny. Sonny may be a figment of my imagination. I have all kinds of tulpas up in this brain. Since when do they have Wi-Fi in the underworld anyway? Or computers. Or posters. Nice posters, by the way. I like Baphomet over there. That's pretty sick. The skull and the guitar are kind of lame. Baphomet, though. It's, it's giving. The underworld seems to have it all. Do you think I should make the move? You are not destined for the underworld. No? You don't fancy a roommate? Well, how can we do the whole and they were roommates? And there's only one bed. As an Australian, I can confirm <laughs> Australia isn't a real place. You know what? You heard it here, chat message thank you obsessing <laughs> we finally have evidence from an australian themselves <laughs> i would rather perish than share my space you don't have to share your my space with me we're already messaging each other oh even with me especially with you shame i think i'd make a great house husband oh hell yeah House husband? I could help you cook, clean, bathe if you asked me nicely. Would you like a meal or a bath? Sore tomo wa a shi. I, I can bathe myself perfectly enough already. There's always room for improvement, my dude. You never know. Excuse me. I do not need help bathing of all things. 
Hmm. You don't want me to wash your back, Grim? Shame. Could even wash your hair for you. I think I could offer you a good full body scrub. Nah, I want that hair though. <laughs> We're dropping the sexuality for a minute. I, I just want to feel how floofy that hair is. My hair. Do you not have hot water in the underworld? Of course there is hot water. That is not the point. Perfect. And it all works out. I get my dream, you get your house husband. Maybe I'll even throw in a massage. I didn't say where I'd massage. God, that could be such a bad comment. If you give me one too. If you pay. If you beg. I like if you beg. Let's go back to this kind of teasing moment. <laughs> there will be no massaging or cooking together. Or sharing a house. Do you understand? But the bathing is still on the table, huh? No. Absolutely is not. <laughs> but you're blushing so much, my little reaper. Oh. Well, if you ever change your mind, I assure you I... I won't. <laughs> I don't know. You delayed yourself for a second. <laughs> anyway, you're changing the topic. If anyone's changing the subject, it's you. How did you even learn to install this virus on my computer? Did you take an advanced underworld hacking class, Grim? What? No, don't be stupid. I learned it myself. All on your own? Nobody teaches themselves that kind of shit, man. Yes, got a problem with that. Yeah, no, sounds like bullshit to me. You need to be taught at least the beginning. Like, or did you read? I guess you could read it in a book. That's technically teaching it yourself. I have no reason to lie. I bet you had someone do it for you. You don't seem like the computer literate type. Oh, you just learned about cow emojis. Oh, you know all about programming and you don't know about emojis. I did it all by myself. You should be impressed. You couldn't make something like this, even if you tried. Bitch, I absolutely could. You don't even have the reliable computer security. <laughs> Shit, he's got to use the fact that I keep saying it's a virus against me, isn't he? I do. Idiot. I was in your system before you could even blink. Without my consent? Scandalous. <laughs> Getting creepy hacker vibes, not gonna lie. I have enough on my plate. I don't have the time to be a creepy hacker. You expect me to pull extra time out of my ass? You could try to pull it out of mine. You were apparently inside me before I even realized it. Did ya? I'd like a few more hours in the day. You know how you get an extra hour in the day? Five hour energy. Five hour energy? You drink five of them. If you drink five five-hour energies, you unlock the secret 25th hour of the day. Your heart also explodes. You will die. But the forbidden hour. Could you? I'd like a few more hours in the day. Ah. Uh, anyway. So you really just made up this whole program yourself. Like I've already said, yes. Ow. What a loaded question. You wouldn't understand at all. Trust me. Not that I'd tell you how anyway. For legal reasons, this is a joke. I said it would explode your heart. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> Olga, please tell us you don't do that. No, I'm caffeine sensitive. I can't even have a full cup of coffee. <laughs> I drink decaf coffee. <laughs> oh my god. But... It was a joke, obviously. You can't get time travel by drinking that much energy. You just will die. <laughs> Did you pay someone else to make it? Are you an idiot? I said I made it. I do not lie. But if you have to know, I did watch a tutorial. A tutorial like a video? On programming? Ah. Uh, yeah. I made use of the resources I had. Is that a problem for you? Oh no, that's kind of cute. You learned it like a little nerd watching on YouTube. That's how I learned most things for me. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Anytime I need to learn how to use like a new OBS feature or a new program, I'm just like instantly YouTube open, show me a visual guide. <laughs> not at all. Very resourceful of you. I shall add this to the list of attributes I associate you with. Oh, that sounded so nerdy. <laughs> and what exactly does this list say, dare I ask? Annoying, creepy, weird, kind of cute, very resourceful. Annoying, creepy, weird, weird again, weird for a third time, just because why not? Annoying, creepy, weird, strangely sexy. Oh, well, I am sexy. I'm surprised to hear you admitting it so readily. Bitch, I've been saying that since we met. But then you open your mouth. Exactly. Especially when you stick your damn tongue out, you bitch. So you go down a notch on the sexy scale. And where exactly do I fall on this sexy scale? With I being not at all sexy. Well, with one... <laughs> I was going to be like, wow, we're shading ourselves. God damn. With one being not at all sexy and ten being the sexiest man alive, I'd say... Solid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dot, dot, dot. I do not believe in number scales. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, he's waiting with bated breath. Well? No, I don't want to say... Fuck. Shit, fuck. I suppose you'd be a ten. At least he's happy. Damn it. Wow. What a surprise. What? With the way your eyes follow my every move, how could you not think I was a 10? My eyes do not follow your every move. They follow your lips. Sometimes your eyes, long hair, sexy gloves. Arms are pretty nice. You got some decent shoulders. The biceps don't quite stick out as much as they could. If the stupid frumpy jacket wasn't in the way, take the jacket off. Even now you're looking at me. Always watching me, sunshine. Bruh. We're on a video call. That's kind of the point. Shut it, Gribby. Entranced with my charm, perhaps. I don't hold it against you. I said nothing about your charm. Please. We both know that my charm could capture anyone. You're a ten in arrogance, maybe. I'm simply a high achiever. Tens across the board. Wait a damn second. You don't get to be this arrogant. Oh my god. What is that behind you? What are you on about? That plushie. On your bed. The adorable little action loader was so cute. What? You forgot to put it away. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. You did not see that. Not a word about it. D do you understand? Wait, how did you move that so fast? Bring it back, it's adorable. What's its name? Why the hell would I give him a name? You just called him a him! You didn't call it a he! <laughs> oh, a he? Uh, shit. <laughs> He's so fucking adorable. Okay, he may not be a 10 in person. Wow, well, he's definitely a 10 in cuteness. <laughs> Grim as a little plushie. How adorable. This is the highlight of my day. This is so unexpected. Let's go with that one. Plushy. Stop talking. He's so cute and pink. Let me name him for you. No. How about... Steve! No. Come on, man. I've got the perfect net. His name is Azrael. Fucking Azrael? Really? That's tuny as fuck. I respect it. <laughs> of course it is. I could have seen this coming. Obviously, I would call him that. You need but a glance at him and he strikes fear into your heart. No, he's adorable, my dude. Azriel like the demon? Hell yeah. <laughs> the angel of death. 
Of course you would name him Azrael. It's much better than any of the god-awful names I'm sure you were about to spout. You don't know. But anything. I would have given him a great name, actually. Something absolutely fabulous. Something positively devious. Something so, so cute. I'm gonna go positively devious. I think you'll like that. Well, he has a name. As great of a discussion this is. Duty calls. Isn't it a bit late to go off to work? Mortal. Death can call at any time. Talk later, little human. See you, Grim. Yes. I suppose you shall. Look after yourself, Folger. Claiming your life belongs only to me. Okay. That was a fun time. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I'd almost sounded romantic. Death can be quite romantic, don't you think? Have a good night, Folger. Good luck avoiding me tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> the second day, complete day two. New item added to the gallery. Hell oh, yeah. How many days are there in this game? Does anyone know? Because we've been here three hours already. I'm not gonna lie. Get a bit tired. You kept turning around to check over your shoulder today. Six days? We're only done with two. It's literally seven days. Oh, fuck me. Uh, we're probably going to stop at this day. <laughs> Something felt strange. Like someone was watching you. But whenever you looked, no one was there. Curious. As you're walking home, contemplating this feeling, you hear the sound of heavy wheels. You turn your head to see a truck rushing down a hill towards you. But no one sits in the driver's seat. Boom, 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 boom. Wait where you are. I'm going to wait where I am again. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. I'm amazing like that. Truck kun Yeah, they're trying to isekai me. You stop suddenly, watching the truck. It barrels forwards, crashing into an empty shop just ahead of you. A power pole falls down just to add a little more chaos. Thankfully, you're completely unscathed. Hell yeah, I am. Welcome home, baby. <laughs> Okay, so the reason that I'm probably so fucking slow is because I took like an hour on character customization. So that's on me. <laughs> but it has been three hours already. I think we're going to wrap this up for today. We might do a bonus stream tomorrow. If I do, I'll have it set up by the end of tonight. Because yeah, I did want to finish this game this week. But man, taking too long with it. I'm having too much fun with it. It's been so fun. Was it really an hour? I, I think it was more like 30 to 40 minutes, but it was it was pretty good. <laughs> and you're reading everything out loud. I'm reading everything out loud. I'm commenting on pretty much everything. Yeah, I just had too much fun. It was great, though. I like this game. I'm definitely down to play this again. Bonus. Oh, yeah. I want to see the new gallery thing. Um, Let's save again. And let's go to the title. Yeats. Show me gallery. Um, 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 um. Oh, that's an, it's just his profile picture. That's adorable. Grim Reaper Halloween 2023. A full body version. Fuck yeah, vampire boy. He looks like he's cosplaying Lestat. Oh, God. Yeah, that's fine as fuck. <laughs> so we will be back to finish this game eventually. Oh, God, I'm having so much fun. Let's jump over to the just chatting scene for a bit. I'm not sure how long this will be today. I don't know why. It's probably because I got barely any sleep last night. That's on me. But due to that, I am very tired already. Which is annoying because I did like a five and a half hour stream last week. <sighs> we giveth and we taketh. Two steps forward, one step back. One hour of customizing and two hours of bullying the baby girl. Hell yeah. Also, I got a new asset from Sakumi. Let me put it on real quick. No, not that. I'll fix that in a second. <laughs> I'll hide this anyway. That, that's not... No. <laughs> oh my god. Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum. There we go. Let me get changed real quick. Boop. And now for some music. Bum, 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 bum. 
maybe. Mm, I'll go with a romance one. Where are my romance ones? Oh. They're buried because I never use them. Because <laughs> we're never romantic. Wait, where are they? Did I delete them? Oh no, there they are. That one's too tragic. There we go. That's a good one for this. Okay. God, I'm so tired. <laughs> Noeen, thank you for the. Oh, wait, let me grab the comic, grab it too. Ah, oh, God, we'll just be here for like five minutes. But yeah, this was an awesome game. I'm so glad we're finally finding this. Finally get to play it with everybody. Bum, bum. Thank you for the stream, Fogan. No problem. We'll either finish this off next week or maybe we'll finish it off tomorrow with a bonus stream. We shall see how it goes. God damn. <laughs> Warm and cozy. I'm glad. We'll make my avatar after the stream. Awesome. Please. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, if you make an avatar on a date with death, feel free to share it under hashtag Folger over here. I'd love to see what kind of avatars you guys made. Bum, bum, bum. Jun. Bum, 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 bum. Where's my... There we go. Much better. Noeen, thank you for donating the food funds. I'll see you on the game too. Rest well and enjoy the rest of your day. I will. Probably going to be catching up on sleep for most of the rest of the day. But thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely evening. Please do rest well and take it easy as well. Try Princess, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Oh, and remember the link to the game is in the description down below and it's free to play. Um, you do not have to pay any money for this unless you want to and you buy the DLC for extra options and customizations and stuffs. Try Princess, thank you so much for donating food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Alisa the Hot Fuchan, this is now my favorite stream. You were simply gold. I felt like I was watching another Monster Fricker stream, y'all. It's been a while since we did one of those, but those are always fun. <laughs> I wish I can give you a big hug. You made me so happy this day. I keep learning things. Hopefully nothing too bad. <laughs> Don't learn the bad things. Just learn the fun things. Shit, really? It's free? Yeah, you can play the whole game for free. Um, there's just some anything that had like a star on it and some of the customization options. Um, are just like, a, I think it was $6.99 for the DLC. So not bad at all. I mean... Like I said, most people probably finish this game in like two and a half hours from what I see on how long is the how long to beat.com. <laughs> but yeah, me reading it out everything is gonna make me take forever. But yeah, you can beat this game in under three hours pretty easily. For free! Exactly. Finished one route in seven hours. Oh. Wait, let me check this again. Maybe, maybe there was like a pre-release version. HLTB. Shit, well, a, a date with death. I love HLTB. It helps me so much. <laughs> We're planning out things. Oh, yeah. Some people said the average is two hours, 44 minutes. But for some people, completionist style is five hours, 30 minutes. Huh. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe there are some really long ones. There was a demo. I know there was a demo, but normally on that website, like it doesn't just do the demo. So that should be the full version. Maybe it's just some people absolutely speed running it. Do, do, do. Oh, it's actually gone up to three hours anyway. Bum, bum, bum. But yeah, for me, it's going to take forever. We'll do one more stream of it. That should be like the perfect kind of length. Um, thank you for donating the food fun, Marineth. No message, but thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a lovely evening and please rest well. And yeah, this new asset is like a combo of two other assets. It's the Christmas jumper that we've been... Well, not the Christmas jumper. The Christmas jacket that we've been wearing for a while. And the white jumper with the red, red scarf. Which is already in this background as well. There's a red scarf like over there. <laughs> if I lean too far, it doesn't work so good. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the jumper was somewhere as well. Ryan and Ruan stop spamming. It doesn't matter. B Cream, thank you for donating the food funds. Awesome stream, foo! I can't believe how many little mini games and details are in this game. The fact that you can just go ahead and play Pong and Wordle. What was the other one? Oh, and the dinosaur jump game. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. They put so much attention to detail in this. And it was a really quick download as well. There's Paint 2. Yeah, you could just randomly open up a paint program. <laughs> oh my god. 
Death is such a cutie. He is. He's so gap moe. He's so freaking adorable. Have a lovely rest of your day, ba. Thank you so much, B Cream. And I hope you really will have a wonderful evening. Take it easy and rest well. Hadoru Octopus. The ads were fun, yeah. And at first I thought the ads were just for like other games by this studio. The fact that they're just freely advertising other indie games that they like is freaking amazing to me. <laughs> Like when I first saw those pictures, I was like, oh, these have to be the other ones they made. And I was like, sick. And then when I saw like Slay the Princess, I was like, oh, they're just advertising whatever they feel like. They're just sharing things they like, which is so nice. Just being a positive force in the community. So yeah, it's so awesome. Um, TY for the fun game. I can feel your genuine happiness playing from this distance. Can't blame you though. Grimmy is really cute and hot. Yeah, <laughs> you do be damn good looking as well. But don't let him know that. He's a bit too... Arrogant as it is. <laughs> Wallpaper on the computer was an ad too. Yeah, I think I recognize like a couple of the own of the studio's own games. Um, I'm not sure if they have like ones from other games as well. But it's nice that you could just change them to that. I like the wallpaper we used as well. Michelle Tang, thank you so much for donating the few funds. Atsu and thank you for the stream. It's so much fun that I can't stop but watch the stream until the end. I really enjoyed your talking and conversations at the game. Thank you and rest well. No problem. I'm just sorry we didn't get to finish it today. <laughs> Hopefully we will get to finish it in one more stream. Sorry that I'm so weak today. God, sleep yesterday was rough. I tried to go to bed at like 1 a.m. I was in bed till like 4 a.m. And then I woke up at 7 and couldn't get back to sleep. <laughs> I walked dog early. I had breakfast early and then I tried to lay down again at like 8.30. And I was like, I could at least get an hour. And then I remembered I hadn't scheduled my tweet to say I was going live. So yeah, I had to make a tweet to say we were going live in an hour. And at that point, it was like, well, I'm not going to get any sleep now. <laughs> so I'll have a nice long nap after this. I'll feel better. And yeah, I'm just sorry. I feel like I kind of let you guys down a little bit on today. I want to be back to five hours streamer. But we'll see. Hopefully soon. Bum -ba -ba -bum -ba. Thank you for donating the food funds, Michelle Tang. That's so sweet of you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Luna Harmony, thank you for donating the food funds. Atsufu Chang, have a good rest. Thank you. I will. Probably got to walk dog again first as well, just because he's been whining a bit. I want to check in on him and make sure he's doing okay. Can never let us down. That's very sweet of you guys, but especially on a day like today, like there are some days you just want to escape from the world a little bit. Um, there is one thing I will say, um, if social media is ever feeling like a bit too oppressive to you, feel free to take a break from it. You'd be amazed how many things it feels to you, like, are really big, massive problems and it feels like the whole world is against you. A lot of that is just because of fucking social media. And when you step away from it, you realize, oh... That's such a tiny portion of the actual world. And maybe I just need to take a break and yeah, find your own happiness. So yeah, definitely something that I've learned over the last couple of months where it's like, maybe I just need a break for a bit. Maybe I need some mental health care and just be like, hmm, I'll just put out what I want to put out and then disappear from Twitter. Yeah, but yeah. Tomorrow I'll be posting my schedule on YouTube as well. I try to post that on days when I don't stream, which kind of screwed up this week because <laughs> I missed two of the days, but it is what it is. Annie, thank you so much for donating the few funds. Otsufu chan, such a good game. I laughed a lot. My first time to know this game, but I really enjoyed it. Have a good rest of your day and thanks for the stream. Thank you. Like I said, I was trying to get perms for this game since before it came out. I'm so glad they finally gave them to us. So excited we got to play it today. The company seems amazing. Um, the gameplay has so far been good. I like it. It's so cute. It's so adorable. It doesn't... I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be much of a story. Like, I want to ch keep checking in on those neighbors. Which is... I guess that's another thing people could do to speedrun it. Was not give a fuck about the neighbors. Not give a fuck about, like, the dog or the plant. But I want to interact with all that shit. I want to see all the little, like, things they've put into it. What they're, like, trying to share with the world. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll try to get through all of that while we can. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for the stream. Thank you so much, Annie. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day too. And la la Leilani. Um, I am starting to get like a little bit of pain right now. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but the, the super chats we already have, I'm going to wrap up 
any new super chats that come in i'm very sorry i'm not going to be able to read them so if you want to save them for a different day that's all cool um i just don't want anybody to spend money if they aren't going to get their super chats read up so just yeah be aware of that but thank you so much to everybody who donated i like to read them i hate when i leave them behind so i'll make sure i finish these <laughs> um lalilani this is a hot game yeah he's damn fine even our own like customization of our own character was freaking beautiful wasn't expecting that i love it when you mess with death lol i know he becomes such a baby girl he tries so hard as well like he has his little moments where he's like oh is that what you think sunshine and then it's just like bro you're the, the adorable little dude using cow bogies. don't try it <laughs> i know what you are <laughs> My Fujoshi was coming out. Good game and have a nice rest. Yeah, this is a fun time. And remember, if you want to flirt with death your own way, you can totally do it. The game is free. Feel free to dive into it on your own time as well. Sunshine. Yeah, Sunshine's pretty cute as well. <laughs> he too is versatile. Yeah, he probably is. I mean, he tries his best. He definitely feels like one of the... Like you, mm, is he versatile or is he a brat? That's the question. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people who say they're versatile are actually brats. And I'm allowed to say that since every time I remind people I'm versatile and by people on Twitter are like, ah, I can't see him as anything but a little bottom baby. I'm like, how dare. <laughs> but that means I could say it about him too. I like to tame brats. <laughs> Masato, Zeddy, thank you so much for donating the few funds. Atsu Fuchan, thanks for the fun stream. And I kind of love this game. Please rest well and I wish you have a lovely day. Bye, you. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day too. And yeah, I've loved this game so far as well. It's been so much fun. Cod liver salad, cute character lines, and comfort voice. Good night, Vuchan. Aw, oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful evening too. I am not a brat, chap. <laughs> I am fine with the allegations of just... <laughs> How dare. How fucking dare. I refuse to be a brat. Baby girl, maybe. Boy failure, not really. Brat, definitely not. That one I will fight to the end of the earth. I, no. <laughs> anyway, Luna Yuki, thank you for donating the food funds. I'll defend you, Fuchan. Thank you. Who was that? You're my hero. Miri, thank you. <laughs> Luna Yuki, Atsufu. I love this game. I had a lot of fun. Grim is so adorable. Oh, adorable Calvoji from you as well. Thank you for the stream and rest well. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining us. You rest well too and have a lovely evening. Just a little sun. I, I don't know what you mean. I'm not sun. I'm chuny. I'm edgy. I... Don't make me bully, you damn it. I... I have this mean uh, smile. I can be like, hey, sunshine. Yeah. No, creepy. Although I did kind of want to start using the nickname Little Lamb for Grim. I thought that would have been really funny. I'd imagine the confidants would have gotten a kick out of that and also been cringing internally. <laughs> if I was just continuously voicing the lines throughout the stream like, oh, Little Lamb, who do you think you are? You think you have any power here? I can do whatever I want with you, Little Lamb. And you just have to sit there and take it. Fucking cringe. Fucking cringe. <laughs> Don't worry. It's gone. It'll never happen again. Okay, Ske. I keep seeing this game circle around and thought, what if... Ooh, and then I see the stream. There we fucking go. Yeah, I do kind of feel... There's a lot of games when I get to them, I'm like... This shit was made for me. <laughs> and this shit is another one of them where like... The voice lines come up and I'm like, hey, I just said that. It's it's me for real, for real. <laughs> sometimes on Grim, sometimes on the main character. It's a fun time. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed it, okay, Ske. Have a wonderful evening and please rest well. Secret Life of Ada. What a delight to see you enjoying yourself this morning. Have some lavender tea to help you sleep. Aw. Don't worry about it and rest well, Foo. Thank you so much. I am still sad I'm going to have to leave early. Yeah. But it just means it's a bad day. It's going to happen. That's the thing. That's why I said I'm still not ready to start diving into collabs in the evenings just yet. Because if this happened during a collab, I'd be super angry at myself. <laughs> Especially if it was like a GTA moment. It was like, 
Oh, I'm in the middle of a role-playing session. Um, uh, sorry. You just... Wait, that's not old man voice. Oh, there we go. Yeetus deletus. Wait, no. What's what's the actual teleportation in like, Harry Potter? Well, pr prestidigitation. I don't even know the word. I just say that and just like, oh, F4 my way out. <laughs> you can't actually do that. It's against the RPing rules. But shit like that, I mean. <laughs> Asahi's goatee. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. The name change got me. I, I wasn't sure if that was going too far. Honestly, when I said, when I was, I was serious when I was like, I'm going to type this out. I was half expecting most of chat to just be like, Fuchan, no. Fuchan, no. <laughs> so I'm glad people were okay with that. I was like, is this? Uh, I don't always fully know the line when it comes to being cancelled. <laughs> For all I know, we're going to go offline right now and Twitter's already going to be like, yeah, now nah, fuck you. <laughs> But I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. That's all that really matters to me. If the confidants are fine with it, we roll. <laughs> the, the moment he started saying his own nickname was when it got me, when it was like, Grim, come on, it's your necrophilic. <laughs> it's just, oh God. Do I have to read that out loud? <laughs> oh, rest well, Foo. Thank you so much, Asahi's goatee. I will. Thank you to everyone who donated to the, uh, to the Foo funds during the stream. There was one more right at the beginning of the stream. It was three. Yeah, I don't know, four. Four super chats in a row. But thank you, a loco J. Hi, today is my birthday, December the 26th. I want to show my appreciation to you and the confidants for being one of the candles that light up this dark room of mine. Yo, that's a beautiful way to put that. Thank you for creating a community that doesn't just have the word comfy in the name, but is indeed comfy. Because of you and the sheep pile, I once again started to pick up interests I'd lost and started to interact with other people again. I'm very truly grateful for being one of those that brings me joy. And it helps me keep my sanity intact. Once again, thank you, Fuchan. I'm looking forward to the new year and to more days with you in the sheep pile. Happy holidays. And I'm hoping that the remaining days of 2023 treat us well. Let's take good care of ourselves and bye you, everybody. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Happy birthday again. Hey, Loco J, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being part of the community. Happy holidays. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful evening. Do not be led. Well, yeah. <laughs> Rest well and have a lovely evening. And I am really swelling up now, so I am going to go lay down. I'm sorry I can't do. I'm not going to be able to do membership on the way out. But thank you to anybody who joined the membership. We're just going to head out. Everybody have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for being here. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. If we are going to do a bonus stream tomorrow, I will post about it by midnight tonight. So don't worry if you feel like you're going to miss it. Um, I do want to finish this game ASAP. <laughs> I just also don't want to push myself too much. And tomorrow is supposed to be a writing day. <laughs> so we'll see. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you all have a lovely evening. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. Also, thank you to the moderators. I know we had a lot of people who it seemed it was their first time on the stream today. Thank you for upholding the rules and for telling me it was a week as well. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody.